Wherever we go, you can go too. Whether you're on the road, at the farm, or back in the barns, Walton Webcasting is there. Streaming live to capture every moment and archiving the ones that you missed. The Grand Champion Market Barrow, this year's Tulsa State Fair. Watch wherever, whenever. This is your moment. This is your moment. Tell family and loved ones back home to head over to waltonwebcasting.com so they can watch from the comfort of their own home. Live shows are always free. Walton Webcasting. Livestock like you've never seen before. Are you a breeder looking to showcase your show pigs? With a Walton Webcasting Show Pig Shoot, we are your go-to video service for capturing the full picture of your show pigs. We specialize in providing top quality video services for breeders like you. You talk to pigs, we capture the video. Our skilled video team comes directly to your operation. With the power of our website and social media, your professionally recorded videos are streamed live, allowing potential customers from all over the country to appreciate the quality of your show pigs. Let Walton Webcasting be your partner in success. We handle the technicalities so you can focus on what you do best, raising exceptional livestock. To schedule your next show pig shoot, call Rhonda at Great heroes come together to support the livestock industry and Walton Webcasting. We call them the Premier Partners. Layered Premium Blend Genetics. Brad Howell Ford. Biozyme. Umbarger Shell Feeds. Kennedy Ventures. Sunglow Feeds and First Farmers Bank and Trust. This adventure wouldn't be possible without the continued support from the Premier Partners. Stripes and 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Lake Cup. You are living here in Marine Number One. We're bringing you our breeding heifer show today, starting with the Beefmaster breeding. Beefmaster breed will have class one in just a few minutes. We welcome you here on a Saturday morning in the big house to bring you the OYE.
welcome class two as they make their way into ring number one.
but I sure like her, 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 her chair, her presentation. It's a female. It's got a lot of good to her. Just a little bit more shape and maybe just a little more fact from, from her little poor career and the flag. I uh, just didn't know if there was quite a lot of uh, when you talk, talk about the slow low of the mansion to the head with the wiggle of the guard. The head of the brings her around, like her sizes, like her length of body. Uh, and as we talk about there, if I just hurt her a little bit, you know, I'd probably change her a little in terms of hoof quality. She's a little bit longer and flatter uh, at the base of her toe. Them. Maybe I'd like to see a sports on a female. Young yeah, man's African coming in third. She's a loose structured, big bodied one. Maybe as attractive as a two right ahead of her, but she's a little usefulness. A lot of practicality that go on and make a, make a mama can do a job for that young man. That's a nice trio of heifer compliment of those groups. Congratulations to your class three. Master Breen Heifer winner. Layla Smith from Durant FFA, followed by Kingman Collins from Atoka. In, in third, Sutton Place, Davenport. We welcome Class 4 of Beefmaster Breeding Heifers. Class 4 into the show ring, number one. Out here we get into these uh, November uh, Beefmasters heifers and getting the big senior division. 
Uh, three real good heifers, but boy, there's one I can sure tie into and like a lot of things that she has and represents here uh, to go ahead and win this class. I think where she uh, has some very uniqueness that I can really tie into, and it all starts up there in her front end, just the length and extension to her front end, the pride and presence she gets you as she walks in there in terms of her carriage. Angle to her shoulder is extremely impressive, the way she's back at her knee. And I think a lot of the cattle, depending on what the breed you are, you know, we struggle maybe keeping the front end structure right. And I think she does some of those things really well. She's huge-footed, uh, stout-boned, uh, got a lot, a lot to her. Now, I would probably just uh, give her a little bit more muscle compared to, like, the heifer behind her, but even as an individual. But I like a lot of things she does uh, really well. I thought the one the young lady had here in second, I thought presentation, she's got a good shine and uh, healthy hair coat to her. Uh, she's got a lot of dimension to her, uh, like a lot of the shape she, she does give us. You know, but as we get right down comparatively, I just, just like to see a little more foot size, a little bit more bone, uh, not maybe the femininity of the heifer we started with, but that's a big body, stout, capacious heifer. Young lady's red heifer, you like her length and extension. She's got some smoothness to her. Uh, just didn't have enough rear rib and flank for her to balance with the ones right there ahead of us. So uh, young lady having a little bit of a hard time with her, so give her a nice round of applause uh, on just a good class again. Those on the outside of the ring number two may be excused. Let's put our hands together and congratulate these youngsters. Congratulations over here in ring number one, your class winner. Jalen Lundry in the Hallworth 4-H, followed by Kaysen Atkinson from El Reno, and third, Quinn Carpenter from Bethel. We now have class five of Beefmaster Breeding Heifers in show ring number one, single entry here in class five. So we get out here, a single entry here, the Beefmaster young young man brings his friend out here to, to show, and boy, just a good cow prospect. She's got body, she's got dimension. Um, I think she's still relatively good in terms of her balance. She just puts a lot of those maternal traits that we'd like to look for. I uh, sure like his enthusiasm and, and spirit, does a nice job. So very good single entry. We'll talk about her again as we bring him back out here. Congratulations. Your class five winner right there, Cannon Edwards from the Fairview FFA. Congratulations to Cannon. We'll move right along to class six, Beef Master Breeding Heifers, class six, into show ring number one.
Over here on the beef masters, we've got uh, two very nice heifers. We've got just a little differences that we can talk about, but you know, I can talk about them either way, and I can talk about positives of where I like. A young man's uh, darker red heifer I choose to start with, and I think just her body composition, she's very attractive. She's really smooth about her shoulder and the way she transitions from her shoulder to her forerib. I think she's good in terms of her angles, but I think where she gives up is just at the ground in terms of flexibility, uh, amount of real estate she takes up as she goes ahead and takes a stride. I think she's acceptable and good in terms of her angles, just as she's not as maybe flexible at the ground as the one right there in second, but a nice effort to start with. That's where I think the one in second gets really interesting because she's so good in her angle to her reach, uh, sets down her pastures and just so uh, athletic and comfortable comfortable in terms of her stride. But as I compare her, I think she's just a little bit greener, and I think part of this age not being bred, she needs to fill into her rear rib and flank, and I think as she does, we'll make that one a bit more competitive. But those two are very close, nice heifers, did a nice job, compliments to you. Well, here, uh, here on the sheep side again.
on to catch you up to speed. Your class six results. Congratulations to your class winner was Caden Carpenter from Bethel FFA. Second place, Curtis Wilkins from Strother FFA in class seven. We have class seven in the show ring right now. After this, we'll show for your champion, reserve champion, breeding heifer in the beef master division. You just stay right there. We'll talk about you. And uh, boy, a good class of big stout uh, Beefmaster heifers here to look. The one to go ahead and start with, and I think there's some things that we could really get excited about. Each one of the three you want to look and talk about. She becomes a combination heifer for me, and I think it's a combination of some body uh, and yet still some femininity and presence she, she gives us. I think everything fits together well in terms of she's got some bone and foot size and good about her angle. She may not be quite as square in the upper part of her hip and from her hooks to her pins as some of the other cattle in here, but I just I love her freshness. Uh, she's coming along far in gestation like we'd like to see, but she's just got such a maternal look that you could sure tie into. The one there in second, boy, I can appreciate these kind of cattle all day long. This is one really sure-footed, Big, stout, burly female, got a lot to her. Now, she's probably got just a little bit extra uh, condition, and she maybe rolled just a little to the outside of her front toes. Uh, but, boy, I like her body mass and just the, the sheer get out and go and maintain her balance on the move as good as you could get. I think she does some good things. Young lady, your heifer was coming around here, didn't want to show off as well, but she's a big-bodied, massive one. She's got, as far as weight per day of age and, and total dimension, she is, is the, the one of the trio. For me, it just comes kind of down to balance. I just didn't think she had the foot and the bone, the body mass, uh, to match her body mass is what I should say. But that's a really good female and a nice trio that I compliment you for doing a good job and hanging in there. So give her a round of applause. Nice set of trio of uh, Beefmaster heifers. Congratulations to Quinn Carpenter. She'll be your class seven winner, followed by Colt McGee from the Wayne FFA and third, Kate Edwards from Fairview FFA. We'll now bring our class winners in to show for your champion reserve champion, Beefmaster Breeding Heifer.
We welcome all of our class winners into show ring number one. Your class one winner was Jaron Lundry from Hallworth, 4-H. Class two, Caden Carpenter from Bethel, FFA. Class three, Layla Smith from Durant. Your class four winner, Jalen Lundry from Hallworth. Class five, Cannon Edwards from Fairview. Class six, Caden Carpenter from Bethel. Class seven, Quinn Carpenter from Bethel into the show ring to show for your champion, reserve champion, beef master, breeding heifer. Folks, as we get out here in your first division, I'm going to run through it real quick because I tell you, uh, these young folks had sure worked and put their effort in and brought you a really good set of heifers. You know, breeding heifers, it doesn't matter when you get into what breed they are. They're just going to have to have those maternal characteristics and go on and do their, do their job of, of getting bred, lay down, have a calf, and do it. All these class winners, I think, can do that. We had a single entry there in the first class. You know, we talked about uh, you love her feet and her flexibility. She set the tone for structure, some of those things that we're going to look and talk about. I think young lady does a good job with that, and I know she just uh, going to have more time to get mature, maybe a little more competitive. But the next class, and that was a tough pair. She did it because of her size, her length, her flexibility. we got to keep those things structured, and I think she's still good in terms of a balance and a nice female. Young lady there, uh, third class, and that one there from, from her shoulder back is exceptional. You know, we got to ask yourself if she's long enough to her front end. But some things I do want to point out to you, I think she's exceptionally well cared for. When you talk about hide and hair that she has on a, on a slick one, I think the young lady did a really good job. She's a really good showman. The next heifer, the black heifer, she's one that gives it a little different look. She's got a tremendous presence to her. She's really long-bodied. She's big in terms of her foot. Uh, got some flexibility. Maybe ask yourself where you're at in terms of the muscle. Uh, but I sure like that one in terms of looking kind. My my young fella here that gives me a smile to warm me up here this morning. I like his enthusiasm. Uh, he's got a well broke heifer that comes out here and, and stands and does what she's supposed to. That's a great cow prospect. She got a lot of body, and any time you have one that marks those boxes, uh, she's one that's definitely in contention. She may not be as extreme in any one area as some of the rest of them, but boy, that's a good basic, good solid female. Uh, the red heifer that uh, young man had there and there, uh, you know, body composition, why she's nice, we give a little bit lower, lower dimension. Then the big heifer coming in that last class, she's the other heifer that had some really good presence. She's got some body. I think she's spot on in terms of condition. you got to ask yourself where you're comfortable in terms of out there in terms of her hip, uh, but she makes it up good to the ground. So give these guys a very nice round of applause. Impressive group to start, and I'll get you a champion to reserve. Congratulations to your champion out of class four. That will be Jalen Lundry from the Hallworth 4-H. Little move, Case and Atkinson in to show for reserve champion Beefmaster. And your reserve will come out of class seven. Quinn Carpenter from the Bethel 4-H. Congratulations to all of our Beef Master Breeding Heifer exhibitors. Give them a big round of applause. Well, let's put our hands together as these kids on the outside of the ring and
for the Beef Master Breeding Heifers, all of our bred and owned exhibitors into show ring number one. Well, challenging class. Uh, honestly, uh, struggle with just this one, uh, just a little bit more the, than the last two divisions, because uh, honestly,
On this side, the Beef Masters are champion bred and known, and I didn't want to not rush through this division at any time because, you know, when you talk about bred known division, I think it's very important. That's what we're trying to do, but trying to pick and select those. And as you look at everything I do every day is, is bread known. It's what you produce, is what pays the bills at our house. So you've got to, got to recognize that fact. And I appreciate these young people for bringing them back out. And I think they do their, their due diligence and, and their recognition for doing a really good job. So I'll walk over here. You guys give him a nice round of applause. This young man down here in the second half will be our champion, Brett Known. Congratulations. Congratulations to Caden Carpenter. He'll have your champion, Brett and Own, Beef Master Breeding Heifer. Your reserve, Curtis Wilkins from Strother FFA with your reserve, Brett and Own. Congratulations to all of our exhibitors in our Brett and Own division here in the Beef Master Breeding Heifers. As we uh, come to a division. Well, congratulations to our winner in our first division. Our first class of Brahma breed heifers, class one in the show ring. We've got a very nice single entry July heifer here to start a Brahmin show and, and I think she does the, the basics really well in terms of one that's got uh, really good in terms of depth of body for her age. I think she's a very high capacity, uh, very capacious female. I think she balances well, good in terms of her angles. That's a good way to start our show here. Congratulations. Congratulations over here to Leighton McNair from the Crescent 4-H. She'll be your class one winner in the Brahma breeding heifers. We welcome class two. They make their way into show ring number one. Class two, Brahma breeding heifers.
How did this pair, uh, Brahman heifers, young lady just having a hard time there to know what, uh, you know, when somebody stands out here and said, this is how you build character by coming out and doing it, you know, it's easy for us to say, but if you're her, she's like, I'm changing the name of this heifer. <laughs> we got, uh, young lady, you got a nice heifer to go ahead and start the class with, and I think she does some things really well. I think balance is a strong point of her. I think she, for her breed, I think she's impressive behind her shoulders, the way she maintains her top. She's still got some upper curvature. Uh, she just gives me some good balance, and I think her structure, just in terms of the way she goes around, is where we can comfortable to go ahead and win the class. Young lady, when you get her set up like that, I like that heifer. She's got a little bit more growth in my class winner. She's got a little bit more length and extension uh, that we can like and appreciate. You know, when we get her in motion, though, I'd like to see her just a little, she gets a little more upright in terms of her hawk. I'd like to see her just to be a little more confident in how she takes the stride off her hind legs, but did a good job. Folks, put your hands together for uh, for really working hard doing a nice job congratulations to your class two winner from Crescent 4-H Leighton McNair followed by Autumn Schultz from the O'Keen FFA we'll move right into class three of your Brahma breeding heifers class three into show ring number one You know, I think we just have two heifers that are a little bit different type, and you just got to just define how you want to list your priorities and where you want to go. What I like about the gray heifer, I think that one is is really high capacity, very deep. Uh, in a positive sense, you know, she has got some extra shot of muscle. She's got some hip. She's got some lower quarter. Where she's got more hip and quarter allows her to balance up better from the side than the one on her set than does her one in second. I just like her again, her her extra shape, and I think she's still balances up pretty well. The one in second one is a, is a longer fronted ver option than our class winner. Uh, she's a little fresher, a little thinner in terms of her condition, but most importantly, she just doesn't have as much in terms of hip and muscle to give her that balance. But both of them are, are good in terms of their angles, do a nice job, a nice pair uh, of exhibitors doing a nice job. Congratulations to your class three winner from Norman FFA, Rush Herzog, followed by JC Schultz from O'Keen FFA. We'll now have class four of breeding heifers, class four of Brahma breeding heifers into show ring number one. Hi, I'm Mike Rowe. 
And I just heard. I did this set of Brahmin heifers. I think we've got just a, some distinct difference in terms of body size, body mass, uh, and dimension. And part of that could be condition, but I definitely think that, uh, you know, the one we start with, I think she does some things that are very impressive for this breed if we just talk about her as an individual. You know, she is extremely deep in her side. She's awesome from her full rib to her rear rib and flank. Uh, I think one that's very proportional type of a female that fits together. I like that heifer young lady lady really well, a good class winner to come out here. Uh, young man, I like your length and extension. She's got a good feminine look to her. Uh, sure appreciate that. But we compare her back in terms of placing. Uh, needs a little more more dimension. I think she's going to need a little more condition. She covers the basics well. Nice heifer. Uh, did a nice job. Congratulations to Emily Peterson from the Clayton 4-H. She'll be your Class 4 winner, followed by Price Williams from the Alba FFA. Class 5 now, Brahma Breeding Heifers. Class 5, Brahma Breeding Heifers into show ring number 1.
as we get set here in this class. Uh, this is an inter interesting class of trio to go ahead and talk about. I think you've got some things that we can uh, discuss, especially the top pair, uh, just from a body shape and composition. The gray heifer to go ahead and wins a class with is uh, she covers the basics uh, to, to the highest degree within the set. And I think where her uh, distinct advantages are is just at the ground in terms of foot quality, uh, her angles, the way she sets, and the way she goes ahead and utilizes her, her feet and legs when we ask her to go in motion. Now, body shape, she's got some extra turn, got some body. You know, she just got a little extra front to her where she doesn't maybe balance it well. She's maybe not as feminine and looking as the, the red heifer in second. I like the body shape. I like her femininity. I like where she gives us uh, body composition look and I think you could probably talk and argue with her to win the class if you stand off and look at him from the side but but if you watch I've got a changer in terms of the foot at the ground her right hind leg uh, her outside toes a little small she really wants to roll that that hind leg out to the outer wolf hoof wall uh, and definitely don't see that something that gets better in time and probably going to hurt her longevity down the road but uh, but I like her body shape in kind and that's where it gets a little bit uh, interesting because this heifer you know still has some smoothness and body. I just didn't think she had the balance. A little start, uh, a little steeper in terms of her hip, a little steeper in terms of the angle to her hock. But again, nice uh, trio again here in your Brahmin show. Congratulations to your class five winner, Brahma breeding heifers, Ava Anderson from Tishomingo FFA, followed by. Jasmine Arthur from Pottawatomie County 4-H, and third, Jack Lucky from O'Keene FFA. We welcome Class 6 of Brahma breeding heifers into show ring number one, Class 6.
as we get out here in this class of Brahmin heifers. The young lady just, uh, you know, talked about that before, and I got thinking about that a little bit, and, and I know that to be true. It has to be, but the good Lord doesn't hold it against you when you're working cattle or having frustrated cattle uh, when you have thoughts or what you might say underneath your breath. But we'll talk about her a little bit, a nice female. In this class, though, there is really a beautiful heifer that is extremely high quality to go ahead and win this class. Uh, she some, does some things to a high degree. I think that's a big growth heifer that's extremely feminine, awesome in terms of the balance, good in terms of her angles. Young lady, go ahead and bring her right around here. That's a very, very nice heifer uh, that she brings to us. The one in second, uh, she does uh, holds her head up out of the top side of her shoulder from a presence and, and look standpoint. Young lady doesn't have to put no pressure there. I, I like that uh, the look she gives us there. She's still proportional. She's not as long bodied. She's not as deep in terms of her rib and capacity as our class winner. She's still a really nice heifer. We just one that we could probably fit inside of the one that we go ahead and start with. Young lady brings us a very nice heifer that uh, you know just not as comfortable out here in in, in the setting of the show part, but. Uh, what I like about her, she's deep-sided, she's got capacity, she's going to be look like the low input, low maintenance type of female, and those things are a very positive uh, trait that we're looking for in breeding females, uh, but comparatively she gets a little bit lower fronted and just a little shorter in terms of her head and neck compared to the other two, but a nice female. Give her a nice round of applause uh, as she's heads out of here and doing a better job. Congratulations to J.C. Schultz from O'Keen FFA. She'll be your Class 6 winner, followed by Ellie Tackett from Fanshawe 4-H, and third, Harper Perkins from McLean County 4-H. We'll move to Class 7, single entry, Class 7, Abrama Breeding Heifers.
As we get over here on the Brahmin Heifer, we got a single entry. A young man had her out here. Uh, you know, some things. She really gives us some good things from a uh, breeding female. She's good at the angles when we talk about her at the ground. Uh, she's got some muscle. She got some shape. Uh, you know, if we compare her to the ideal, I'd maybe like to see her just a little deeper in terms of her body to her flank. But I like her length of body, her smoothness. A very nice heifer. Congratulations. Congratulations to your Class 7 winner. It was Riley Lucky from Okeen. FA. We'll move right into Class 8. Brahma Breeding Heifers, Class 8. Over in Ring 2, the results of... in this class of Brahman, the four heifers, and as we kind of go through here, and this became a challenging class to go ahead and place where we come back and, you know, try to get the groove as we have a few more we'll pull to the side here and get down to these ones to look and talk about. Uh, but both these two heifers have got a lot of good to them that we could like. I think they're high quality females talking to both of them. You know, my advantage here to the red heifer, I just, I just felt she is so complete, so smooth, so proportional in the way she puts some things together. Her foot and bone match her body. Uh, she's not as growthy as a heifer behind, but I just I just like the overall uh, body composition that she's got to go ahead and start with. Uh, the gray heifer, she's a big growthy heifer. There's a lot of female there. She's got some top shape, got some sh some turn to her upper rib. I like, she's good in her angles. And, you know, as I pick on her a little bit, she's not near as, you know, kind of strong and nice in the upper skeleton. Maybe doesn't have the foot and bone to match her body uh, because she's big and massive in terms of her upper dimension. Uh, 
but a nice pair of females, a good class. Young ladies, Heifer here in third, and you know, we compared to the one in fourth. I thought there's, you know, some lot of similarities and a lot of closeness to the ones up there. She gives up a little bit of uh, performance to the one right ahead of her. She's a little shorter and steeper out there through her hip, but she's a very feminine, smooth made heifer that's good in terms of. I think they're extremely close. I think they've got some gives and takes. And I think as I stand back off of them, you know, the difference for me probably just becomes gestation. Where this one here is a little further along, she's uttering up, and it just gives her, as I just uh, I judge, you talk about balance, and I like that. Uh, that rear quarter to match her full rib and, and her being further along just I think just allows her to to balance better in some of those traits I like because she's good in terms of her fore rib, good in terms of her top. Uh, she's maybe not as long hipped as the one there in second. Might be some gives and takes, but where, where she does give up, where I would change her, she I'd like to see her just a little stouter in terms of foot and bone, uh, in terms of size. Because I do think just foot, hoof quality and size goes the advantage of one in second. But she's a very good feminine female uh, to go ahead and start with. And the one in second, like I talked about, her advantages in terms of just I think foot, and I think she's just a little longer in terms of reach uh, when we ask her to go and put her in motion. I think some of those things uh, that, that we could appreciate. Now, as you look at here, comparatively, she's not as full in her fore rib, not near quite the center body, and I think part of that just it becomes gestation. That's a close player. I uh, wouldn't argue with you one way or the other, uh, just how I've seen them. Congratulations. Nice job. Let's put our hands together as these individuals leave the Here, class nine winner Harper Perkins from McLean County 4H, followed by Kate Hammonds from Broken Bow FFA. Will now show for your champion and reserve champion Brahma Breeding Heifer in show ring number one. 
All of our class winners making their way into the show ring. Your class one winner, Leighton McNair from Crescent, 4-H. Class two, also Leighton McNair from Crescent. Third, Rush Herzo from Norman, FFA. And your class four winner, Emily Peterson from Clayton. Class five, Ava Anderson from Tishomingo. Class six, J.C. Schultz from O'Keen. Your class seven winner, Riley Lucky from O'Keen. Class eight, Kate Hammonds from Broken Bow. And your class nine, Harper Perkins from McLean County. Showing for your champion reserve champion, Brahma Breeding Heifer.
Uh, just a quick words uh, talk about uh, in the Brahmin division, time that I've had the opportunity to judge Brahmin cattle. I've been extremely impressed because the basics are just the same in terms of talking about cattle are fundamental. These cattle as a whole are always really good in terms of the way they put meat to ground. They're flexible. They got some stoutness to them, and I'm so impressed. They always have some, some, some top shape, that upper turn, and in fullness, and cattle that have some growth, and I think they do some things really well. So I'm not going to talk all of them in and just uh, been very impressed all the way from the late the far end, far end, had the first two class winners and, and she brought us some quality and presentation we can get all the way down to the big ceiling uh, a little further in gestation but as far as me is is I've got a multiple breeds and I know I don't live in a country probably that our uh, area in terms of where has been harsher we have very many cattle but uh, you know my champion in this division is one that boy you get your heart warmed up and you think about making quality cattle no matter what they look like how they are uh, you could tie in and do some things, and I think it's just a standing individual in a really, really good look so group. So give them a nice round of applause. We'll walk over here and get us a champion. Congratulations to your champion, Brahma, coming out of Class 6. Exhibited by J.C. Schultz from O'Keen FFA. And your reserve coming out of Class 8, Kate Hammonds from the Broken Bow. FFA. And that will also be the results for the bread and own. Kate will be your champion for bread and own. Congratulations, Kate. We'll bring the rest of them in to show for reserve for bread and owned. out here and we're trying to lash it in terms of your bread and own and I can't I can't take uh, and take the time and say enough young lady you bring us a pair of uh, really nice ones uh, your presentation and care is off the chart 
uh, you know, you'd like that extremely well. And both of them are good. And I think both have got gives and takes. I know it's probably a hard decision between you which one to, to take, or maybe you're just a little more partial to that one. But I think both are very nice females. Young man, your heifer's nice. Needs a little bit more body still, but she covers the basics well. Uh, quality female. Young lady down here that... Uh, you know, that has a big stout one, and we just talked about her in class in terms of gestation. Is it a difference from her winter class, and she had her other one was champion, but uh, still a quality female, and I know that uh, at times as a show judge, you'd like to maybe spread around, but there's still uh, no doubt that you've got the second best one in the bread known, so congratulations to you for doing a very nice job and a good cow breeder. Congratulations to Kate Hammond. She'll also have your reserve in the bread known. Breeding heifers exhibitors today. A great Brahma heifer show. We'll move right into our Brangus breeding heifers in class, or in show ring number one, class one. We'll be making their way shortly. Brangus breeding heifers. Ladies and gentlemen, put our young man brings us a really nice heifer. You know, and a lot of times it's easy to say as a show judge that one can handle some competition in her age group, but uh, sincerely, the heifer's got a lot of good to her. Uh, she's awesome in terms of her upper skeleton. She's long uh, in terms of her length of her age. She's got some femininity. Great way to start, young man. Way to get us started in the Brangus division. Congratulations to Talon Dean from Maysville 4-H with your first place there in Class 1 of Brangus Breeding Heifers. age group and once again I
As you move your attention back over here to the Brangus show, we've got again a uh, single entry, and I, I sure enjoyed a little bit to talk to the young man, and uh, very enjoyable to visit and talk about, uh, but he's got a really high quality heifer. If you want to go ahead and take her on out, you're good. Uh, I think she's she's very attractive in terms of femininity from the side. She balances up well, has some shape, just a very good single entry we'll probably sure to, to talk about as we get out here. The results of our seventh grade showmanship class. First is Creighton. Over here on the Zabrangas side, uh, a trio heifer kind of interesting. There's no doubt, young man, the heifer to start with, that's your heifer. Uh, she's got some stoutness and power, gives us a good presence, puts everything together really well. 
I uh, just a lot of like things about her. Gritty like her hind leg, uh, the way she comes out of her hog. The next two offer a little bit of debate and a little bit of condition or condition difference that gives us our body shape difference. And then you go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and use the young lady's heifer and you know she's got a scar on this side. The young lady said here about three months ago, uh, she had to twist the gut and got it got it undone. She's got a good veterinarian that uh, compassionate and caring that did a good job on her but uh, you know what I really like about her I think she's a, exceptional in terms of just foot leg structure her angles the way she sets down and goes and takes around the ring now part of that's probably set her back so she doesn't have as much condition but that almost works to her advantage because she's a little tuck, more tucked up in terms of her chest floor giving her a little more femininity and blends better from her shoulder to her top there's no doubt the heifer and thirds a heavier muscle option of the two and probably got a little bit more to her uh, but with that she's got a little extra condition and what she does is she wants to push her front shoulder out dips kind of bond behind her shoulders just doesn't maintain her balance on the move and and I know as we work a little further in the show that's something that's very important to me as we talk about and I ain't talked a lot about it today uh, but but as we go and, and those cattle just got to have balance as we ask them to go but a very nice heifer nice trio again here in your Brangus show over here in show ring. In the intermediate division, our champion is Kobe Scroggins from Tuttle FFA. And reserve is Aiden Rexwinkle from Wagner FFA. We're now ready for our sixth grade class coming in. Another single entry here at the Brangus Division, and uh, this is a high capacity, uh, deep sided female. Uh, it's got a very minimal look. She looks like she could be a very little input on a positive stance in terms of cows. We'll take her around the boat. And she does some things really well. Now, if we change her a little bit, maybe just square up a little bit in her rear hock. She wants to kind of come together just a little bit. Uh, standing there, but I like her brood cow, cow in potential. She does a very nice single entry. Congratulations to Jance Allen. His class four winner from Haworth FFA will move to class five, also a single entry. Class five, Brangus breeding heifers. Young lady here at, uh, at her first OIA brings her Snelly out here as a single entry. You know, really a nice female. She's feminine. I like the way she's flat about her shoulder. She blends from her shoulder to her fore rib uh, extremely well and uh, just a good, smooth made female. Not the most powerful one we've probably seen here today, but, uh, but a very nice female. Congratulations to her to be a class winner at OIA. Congratulations, Congratulations to Ava Collins from Indiana 4-H in your Class 5. We'll move over to Class 6. Class 6, Brangus Breeding Heifers.
Really nice pair of Barangas heifers to talk about. They're both the same uh, same brand on them in terms of, in terms of origination, but uh, and that's where you give you a little bit of I'm sure similarities in how they're put together. But, but uh, pretty far with that, you get just a little bit more in some of those uh, you know, those areas that we look and talk about. Uh, she definitely has a little bit more muscle. She's opened up better. As you look at her, her shoulder, the top side of her shoulder, down her top, in her hip, uh, she's still probably chest forward. The flank balances better than my one in second does. Uh, she may be not just as long bodied and just flat shouldered in her transitional traits, and I think that's some advantages of the one there in second, but a good place to start. Uh, one in second, like her extra length of body, and I talked about she has some of those things in terms of a smoothness. Uh, she's extremely smooth, blends in really well does some things there to a high degree. I just didn't know if she had enough flank to match her chest floor when we get her back off the side and not not quite as good in terms of just rear hock, the way she sets her hind leg down and down. But a nice pair, uh, both those two exhibitors did a good job. Congratulations to Bryson Billy Reno for H with your class six winner. Followed by Willie Schoonover from Mojo Orlando, FFA. We'll now have Class 7, Brangus Breeding Heifers, a single entry, Class 7 in show ring number 1. So we get uh, go ahead and pull her over on the side here. We'll look at her from the side, but uh, you know, very nice effort. Uh, the Brangus breeders have been bringing us quality, and they've kind of let hook a little bit uh, in terms of having some some good single entries to bring out here. But but uh, we're rubber going to meet the road to say when we get out here and in our division because there's just some very good single entries. And this heifer here is very feminine. She's smooth made, uh, balances well. I like her in terms of her angles, uh, doing a lot of things positive to be a good class winner. So congratulations. Uh, we'll bring them back out here. Nice job. Congratulations to Seth Pruitt from the Prague 4-H. He'll be your class seven winner. Brangus breeding heifer. We'll move right to class eight. Class eight making their way into show ring number one.
We got a Baranga side again uh, to talk about. We got a really good class winner. Uh, Heifer I like really well. Does a lot of things extremely well. And I think as you break one down, she kind of keeps distance herself out there to the front. You know, one, you can obviously tell that she's got mass and power and got some dimension. You know, but I love her in terms of her rear hock, the angulation she takes down and to her past her and the way she sets down correctly on the corners on her feet and legs there. But a uh, very nice female. You know, and I look down here between second and third, and I really do believe it is an extreme toss-up depending on where you want to go and where you want the land. You know, I chose to use the heifer with probably a little bit more substance to her from a bone and foot stand some point. I think she's still probably got a slight advantage in uh, balance from the side. Uh, but my, my concerns about her in terms of longevity, because because in a cow herd, your profitability is dictated by how long they stay. I question her in terms of the soundness on her rear hock, if she's got the ability to uh, to make an older cow. That's my concern. Um, I want to head and go ahead and call her good enough in that standpoint, but I would change her from that standpoint. Uh, and then the heifer in thirds got some power, but the part of that is a little bit of condition. Your balance, your balance, sound work. Uh, but but two, I uh, thought were tough. A very good heifer to go ahead and start. Congratulations to your class A winner, Pritchard from McLeod 4H, followed by Molly Pruitt from Prague, and third place Hunter John Johnson from Ulaga FFA. We'll now show for your champion and reserve champion, Brangus Breeding Heifer. Champion and reserve champion will bring all of our class winners into show ring number one. For the results in the sheep ring and sixth grade sheep. Show ring number one, your class winners in the Barangas Breeding Heifers are making their way into the show ring. Your class one winner, Talon Dean. Class two, Bryson Bilyeu. Class three winner, Braden Herrenbrook. Class four, Jance Allen. Your class five winner, Ava Collins. In class six, Bryson Bilyeu. Class seven, Seth Pruitt. Class eight, Michael Pritchard. We're showing for champion and reserve champion, Brangus Breeding Heifer. Better in the champion uh, Barangas lineup. Uh, my compliments go to these exhibitors here in your Barangas division. Bring in, uh, we had a lot of single entry classes as we go down through. And, you know, and I think we've, instead of going back through and talking them all, I think that they've got so much quality we can talk them as a collective group of cattle. 
you know, that they have a lot of versatility and a lot of the, the Angus base and some of the influence. You know, it's a proper, popular breed across the country for a lot, of, a lot of reasons. And then in the southern re region, I think they do have some crossover and carry. You know, and it, it doesn't change. It's just like we talked to some of them, and we had that good Brahmin, Brahmin division before there in terms of the ones of quality. But, uh, you know, the biggest thing I want to talk about is is to go and these folks uh, within this division, they're living in their, their moment. You know, a lot of times we get carried off in life and we worry about what we're up to and where we're at, but, you know, they brought quality cattle out here. They want to get a win or get a piece of their division here at the Oklahoma Youth Expo. It's a big deal for them, and I, and I sure hope that they enjoy that time as you scan down here and hear their, uh, you know, just feel their, their passion and, and desire to want to do well. So if you guys would go ahead and put your hands together Together will get us a champion reserve in this division, and my congratulations to these exhibitors. Congratulations to your champions, Brangus, right there, exhibited by Michael Pritchard out of Class 8. Congratulations. A reserve coming out of Class 3, Braden Herrenbrook from Oklahoma Union FFA. Congratulations to all of our Brangus exhibitors. Sure to give uh, recognition to this young lady. It's not her uh, her. As we do, it, it, it means a lot to me in the bread known division. Uh, you need to be uh, recognized for your efforts of raising and doing a good job. So, folks, give her a round of applause to your champion, bread known and bring us ever. Congratulations there to Molly Pruitt for the prey for H. With your champion, Brennan of the Brangus Breeding Heifer Division. Congratulations, Molly. Breeding Heifer, American AOB Breeding Heifers, Class 1, making their way to show ring number 1. Well, as these are the
Hunter in this class of AOBs, I believe we get uh, the ultra bl blacks, uh, pretty good heifers, and I think we have some things, even the one and third, that uh, probably still does excel within the class. Uh, there's some challenge out here in gives and takes. Okay, what I like about your heifer to go ahead and start with, body composition. I think she's got some stoutness, some power. She's still got some bone. She still proportions extremely well. I like that about her. Some questions I can get about her. I think for her age and size, she's got just a little bit extra con condition and maybe just a little quicker in terms of her maturity pattern compared to the ones right behind her. But, but for a judge that likes some balance with some power, uh, I think she's definitely the spot that we can tie into it and excel on. I like your heifer from a femininity. Her neck comes up just a little naturally higher to the top side of her shoulder. She's probably truer in terms of her center body rib shape than my class winner. Uh, if you get right down and break it apart, but for me, it gets kind of there in her hip. I'd like to lengthen and square her hip up and give her just a little more natural set to her rear hock. Standing there, it's good. She just uh, a little more refined in terms of foot and bone. Maybe don't utilize her hind leg as well as the one right there ahead of her. Now, when you talk about uh, structure utilization of of hind leg and in the way one moves. The one and third I think may have the advantage uh, within the class. She's really clean jointed. She's got some reach. She sets down on her hind leg. Very attractive to me but when I get back off of her she gets a little flatter in terms of her fore rib, flatter in terms of her muscle uh, and just would change her from that aspect. But again, trio of nice heifers. Congratulations over here in class number one, your class winner, Kit Pettigrew, followed by Brayden Heronbrook, and third, Sila Pitchford. We'll now move to class two of American AOB breeding heifers, class two into show ring number one. Well, uh, very, very good.
Uh, all other breeds here, American side, uh, two very nice heifers. Uh, uh, Brown Bay here to go ahead and start, I think just beautiful in terms of her pattern. Uh, picturesque in terms of her side view from a proportion standpoint, the way she balances, she's got some body. She's really neat how she blends from her neck into her shoulder, shoulder there and her full rib. I like that uh, about her really well. Uh, there's some things about the Simbra heifer that comes out here in, in second that I like better. She may be just a nickel longer in terms of her hip. Uh, got some breach. She's definitely a longer sided option. Uh, doesn't have that center body, balances the one right ahead of her, and a little greener in terms of condition. But I do want to say that, uh, you know, she has a lot from a structural correctness and femininity that we can sure tie into. I just thought she should just give up just enough today uh, to go ahead and second it. You bet. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations over here to your class two winner. Lennon Minster from the Lindsay 4-H, followed by Emily Birch from the Pay County 4-H. Move right into Class 3 of your American AOB breeding heifers. Class 3. In, 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 she, she, she. Again, in all of the breeds, uh, uh, the Gerd Heifer here to go ahead and start with a dark red. I think there's just a little more balance to her shape. She's got some upper turn to the top side of her rib. Uh, she's still got some uh, tractedness in terms of length to her front end from an advantage of that standpoint. It shot more muscle. We'd probably give her just a little more depth of the body, and I think that is the advantage we have in the one right behind her is you just talk about sheer, sheer depth of the body. This one maybe gets a little bit in terms of the way she's kind of showing, but I thought she didn't transition and a little tighter right there in her fore rib, a little more rounded in terms of her hip, but uh, good in terms of her angles, deep-sided, nice heifer, giving the young lady just a little bit of fits, but uh, go ahead and put your hands together, uh, doing a nice job. Congratulations to Kinley Kirby from the Stigler FFA. She'll be your Class 3 winner, followed by Ava Collins from the Indiola 4-H. We'll move right to Class 3, Class 3A of American AOB Breeding Heifers.
We've got two nice heifers, but boy, we couldn't be any different in terms of body, shape, and type to go ahead and talk about. And I think it's obvious for you guys to to see and tell that the red heifer I choose to start with probably just uh, so much mass and body and I really like her hip when you talk about length and squareness she comes down at the ground in terms of her hock and, and sits down her pastern really well. Now she's got uh, opens up a little bit wide in terms of base to her front shoulder. Uh, part of that I think is probably condition uh, but boy you cannot uh, as a cow guy like myself you cannot really get on one that uh, you know, being hard for being the easy doing one. I think her just softness of structure and body, uh, just a good place to start. No doubt there's more femininity in terms of head and neck and the way she's laid in about her shoulder and the one in second. And I do think that is some reasons if you're going to want to head and go and start with her, uh, that's where you're going to have to uh, uh, go ahead and you're going to talk about. But for me, as we get back from there, you know, I just thought she needed to be a little softer in terms of her center body, some squareness up there to her hip. A good heifer, just two different types. That's just how I was most comfortable aligning those two together. Congratulations. Congratulations to Hunter Johnson from the Ulaga FFA. She'll be your class winner, followed by Lennon Lister with second place from the Lindsay 4-H. We'll now move to class four of your American AOB breeding heifers in show ring number one, class four.
a pretty good competitive class to get out here and uh, talk about uh, as we get in here. The bald heifer just suits me the best in terms of, you know, balance and femininity, and I like her, just her proportions down her top. She's the best in terms of condition. Uh, where we're at in this age and stage, put some maternal tra traits together really well for me. The red heifer, a little extra condition, but I like her body shape, her mass. Uh, some some dimensional traits she has, maybe not as feminine and as nicely put together, but I think she's got the advantage just in terms of structure over the heifer there in in third. Heifer in third is a you know good feminine heifer, uh, like that smoothness and just attractiveness she gives us. You know for her to be third, it starts and stops right there in terms of her rear hock. I'd like to clean her up in that rear joint and just allow her to stand more correct from hock to ground. Uh, but other than that, she does some things really well. Uh, really clean the top side of her throat, a big back tefer coming out here next. Again, it's uh, her structural build. I just like to see her just a little more athletic, a little more fluent in terms of the way she goes out and takes a move. Longhorn heifer, uh, you know, does things really good from a from a smoothness and maternal standpoint. For me, just in that, I know it's her breed characteristic, and maybe not fair to pick her on that standpoint. But for me, just need a little more body dimension, a little more muscle to go ahead and compete. Uh, but you know, her pattern, color her pattern, her horn spread, uh, something you could sure like and appreciate. Over here in show ring number one, your class four of your American AOB breeding heifers, your class result. Congratulations to William Birch from Pottawatomie County 4-H, followed by Sila Pritchford from Porham FFA, third, Talon Dean, Maysville, fourth, Garrison Butler from Idabel, and fifth, Denny Kilman. to tell me her heifer's got a birthday today and uh, and matches up pretty well. I forgot to ask her if she got her birthday cake. I love birthday cake, but uh, beautiful pattern. One I, one I like really well. An awesome in terms of femininity and length and extension up in her front end. Coming along in terms of gestation, very nice single entry. Heifer, uh, you know, I love her structure, the way she gets out here. And you talk about, uh, you know, very athletic in her movement. Uh, she does so uh, effortless in the way she walks around the ring. I think she does, a, you know, really an impressive good job in terms of hawk hide leg for that one. Uh, balances up well. Would maybe give her just a little more body for her age and maturity. But again, nice single entry. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to Emily Birch, Ottawatomie County 4-H. She'll be your Class 5 winner. We'll move right into our final class, Class 6, also a single entry in the American AOB breeding heifers. As we uh, come to the last class,
Let's just start a third and fourth. Week number one, we have your American AOB breeding heifers. We're going for your champion and reserve champion. We have our class winners. Class one was Kit Pettigrew from Yukon. Class two, Lennon Lister from Lindsay. Class three, Kenley Kirby from Stigler. Class three A, Hunter Johnson from Ulaga. Class four, William Birch from Pottawatomie County. Class five, Emily Birch from Pottawatomie County. And class six, Hagen. Hunt from Marshall County 4-H. I'm still waiting for your class seven announcement. I was going to count out here. I thought we got to seven, but uh, we had you know, yeah, we had the 3A. It was kind of misleading. Gotcha. Hey, congratulations to these folks out here in this division. Uh, you know, our other breeds, and we take some different body shapes uh, of breeds or the breeds that give you different body shapes, and we put some things together. You know, and it's a little tougher maybe to be exactly consistent up and down, but these things cover the basics, and that's the most important thing. You know, we want to be a show heifer and, and, and be a cow. Ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to show. And these young people get along, work alongside of them, uh, learn, learn to love and respect for their animals and, and be great caretakers and stewards of what we're trying to do. So the decision gets a little tougher right here because I've got a, the, the one out of the first class, a younger heifer, Effort that's uh, probably gives a little more look in terms of presentation and in and, and kind for what I like. And then we just age-wise, I always is just a cow guy, you know, get work my way down here to these older heifers that are a little further in terms of gestation and showing some things. So that makes it challenging as you come here to be able to compare from side to side from that standpoint. Uh, but if you put your hands together, I'll go ahead and uh, pair, pair up a nice. We're going to be big and little in terms of size uh, difference, but still quality, I think, what dictates where we want to be to be our champion and be reserved. So give them a nice round of applause again. Congratulations to these exhibitors. Congratulations to your Class 1 winner, also your champion, American AOB, Kit Pettigrew from the Yukon FFA. And your reserve will be Emily Birch. Congratulations there out of class five for your reserve American AOB breeding heifers. Give all of our exhibitors here in our American AOB a big round of applause. As we uh, come to the conclusion of this uh, junior division.
one, we are showing for your supreme a American AOB and your reserve. We have your champion Beefmaster, Jalen Lundry. Your champion in the Brahma, J.C. Schultz. Your champion Brangus, Michael Pritchard. And your champion American AOB, Kit Pettigrew. As we get out here and we pick a supreme uh, American female, boy, I couldn't be any more uh, blown away or impressed with the quality of the, that these these exhibitors have brought to us. I think they're just tremendous, and you get excited, especially when you come to to show of this level to have and, and the magnitude and what it means to come out of your division, because you never know as you go forward. It, it just, uh, it, it's just so much excitement and in. And, and, in presence. The, the other thing you talk about, and I think as you look at how good these things are, and sometimes these exhibitors as, as show people and cattle breeders, it just makes it look so easy. And I mean, there is nothing easy about uh, making high quality cattle, getting them ready to, to fit back in here in the show ring, and I think it's so good. And and, and just uh, it says so much about these young people and, and their, their moment of time. And, and as you get out here, you do one person's opinion but yet, you know, if today is not your day, it does not mean we're all in the same place of our journey of, of life or showing or competitiveness. And, and a lot of times you're going to learn a lot more than if you, than if you do win. And I know winning is special, and the ones that, that are prepared to take advantage of that and are ready today need to be recognized. It is important for all of them, but also I think in the true... Uh, state of competition, especially in this state, it's, it's good to recognize a winner. Uh, I think we're going to have some really good, really good choices, and I'm really going to be proud of the, the top two or three that come out of this division. So folks, put your hands together, proud of these exhibitors, and uh, in their moment for Supreme uh, American. As we uh, come to pick a champion showman overall, uh
ring number one. Congratulations to your Supreme and AOB exhibited by, by the Brahma JC. Congratulations. In your reserve was Jalen Lundry with a Beef Master. In just a half a second, if we do, I don't believe we. Congratulations to your bread and own champion is the Beef Master, exhibited by Caden Carpenter. And we, as our judge, made reference to waiting for uh, one more to come back to show for reserve in the bread and own. And your reserve will be Molly Pruitt. Congratulations to Molly. Will be your reserve bred and owned.
We'll begin with our Dexter breeding heifers. All of our exhibitors be ready. Class one making their way into the show ring. Class one of Dexter breeding heifers. Nice class of Dorpers to kick. The Dexter's a nice class of cattle to look and store, sort. You know, it's a little newer experience for me of judging the, you know, the, these cattle in terms of just size. But, you know, I guess even in big ones, I've always let size take care of itself, and you just jump right into body composition and some things you're looking for. The one to start with, I think she does some things very nicely. I think just looking at her 
her conformation. She's very feminine in terms of up at her front end. She still opens up with some shape behind her shoulders. She's bold to ribs. She's still impeccable in terms of her balance from the side. Still good about her angles. I, I like that about her. I thought it was just a good, solid place to, to go ahead and start with. You know, you talk about the maternal side, feminine heifer to come here in second. Uh, she's flat about her shoulder, deep and true in terms of her midsection. I like that about her. Her angles are good. You know, I thought her structural advantage was, was she's more laid back in her knee versus the one right there in third. She doesn't have the power or, or, or dimension of the one to win the class, but I like her I like her extra build. The one in third, I thought she's really smooth. Her uh, upper skeleton, she's still good in terms of fore rib in terms, and then back in the body. You know, if I could, I'd just like to drop her back and angle to her shoulder, lay her back in her knee from a structure standpoint but you know she's still a beautiful pattern well cared for nice kind of a female then we get in the trio of the black heifers that have some very very much similarity is kind of look the same and I thought just the difference in terms of structure is where we will go ahead and change her her rear hock to the ground and in terms of hind leg I'd like to see her put it down just a little bit more correctly compared to the one ahead of her but she's feminine smooth made nice female the next step her young man has is she's kind of bold body got a little more turn and rib shape to her but again she gets underneath her there, gets a little close in behind in terms of muscle closest to her ha and then the other half coming in now just a little more refined in terms of foot and bone just don't quite see some of those uh characters who look a little bit higher in the class but again nice job good class fun to judge congratulations to your class one winner your dexter breeding heifers exhibited by olivia bondock from woodland 4-h Kale Harvey from Sperry, third, Riley Harper from Skyatook FFA, fourth, Ashley Gamble from Sperry, fifth place, Brian Ballard from Asher FFA, sixth, Bryson Gregg from Asher FFA. We'll now move to class two of Dexter Breeding Heifers, class two. Good class.
side. Uh, and three of the heifers, again, uh, you know, the same thing is going to take place. We talk about body shape, body composition, you know, the more or moderate one ends up within the class, but she wins a class just in terms of muscle. Uh, she opens up how I prefer one behind the shoulders, the top side of her, uh, uh, into her top. She's got some outer to her rib, uh, does some things really well. And ideally, I would probably like to, you know, change her from her hawk to the grass a little bit from a structural standpoint. When you get her set up like that, you have a little she gives me a nice look and look like a little class winner. Your heifer in second, I like her depth of side. I like the way she blends from her shoulder to her full rib. She's got body. I like that. She gets a little bit flatter. Flatter. I'd like to give a little more muscles. I stand right in there behind her. Power up a little bit on bone. But you love her femininity, her smoothness, the way she's laid in about her shoulder. Heifer in second, third, I mean, is... Uh, it is similar to our win in second and team being in flat shoulder, uh, good in terms of her build. Just needs a little bit more lower quarter to give her balance and just change her a little bit in terms of mobility for hind two. Uh, but it gets a nice trio there and you're a good Dexter division. Congratulations to your class two winner, Dexter Breeding Heifers, Olivia Bondock from Woodland 4-H, followed by Bryson Gregg from Asher FFA, and third, Karma Tiffin from the Asher FFA will now move to our class three of Dexter Breeding Heifers, show ring number one. Over in the sheep ring at class. Of Dexters. We're going to leave them as they come out here, and I think it's just a balance issue, just as allows us to, to use the black one over the red one, uh, just chest for the way she bounces up a little more correctly, how we've been picking these cattle in terms of depth of her flank. She's got some shape of muscle down her top. I uh, like that about her, probably just a little leaner and trimmer about her neck and front end. Uh, a little more width at top, probably in the red one right there behind her. I like the way she blends from her shoulder to her forerib extremely well. Uh, just got to give her a little more flank, a little more stoutness. Nice pair, compliments those two exhibitors. Congratulations to Anna Corley from the Sperry 4 H. She'll be your class winner in class three, followed by Kale Harvey from the Sperry 4 H. We'll move right to class four, Dexter Breeding Heifers.
Young lady over here on the Dexter side coming out here, I know she's sure proud to have a class winner here at OIE. And, and again, this has been a good division, and I think as you break them back apart and look, and, you know, as we put them in motion, and that's where I go ahead and have the sword. You talk about maintaining balance when they get out here. And go. From that standpoint, she gets her head up. She's very feminine, very smooth about her shoulders, still has some muscle shape, a uh, very nice female. We change her just a little bit in terms of her tail head, her razor pins up. Some are another near ideal, but I think she's a good kind of a female. The one in second, I think, gives us a really good pattern, a really good look. Uh, you probably could debate seen in there depth of the side and square to the hip to go ahead and rival the one to win the class. But I think when we put her in motion, uh, she gets a little more uncoordinated and comes in a little too much at her hock for me to, to go over and overtake the one that, that wins the class. But that's a very nice heifer. Same with the one in third. The front two thirds, I like her really well. Well, she's a little longer toed. I think it's going to take some management to get some longevity to her in terms of uh, just a, her foot size at this point. Part of that, she just she doesn't wear right in terms of having a little extra set. Sets best more in the heel, allows the toe to grow a little bit more. But uh, same things we, we struggle, no matter what size or breed we get into. Uh, but again, nice class. I missed it. Congratulations to your class four winner goes to George Aker from the Cheyenne for followed by Brian Ballard from Asher and third Landon Wood from Sperry 4-H. In her yearling class of hair sheep, first goes to Tyler Shea Mitchell from Central High. Second goes to Morgan Dolezal from Perry. In third is Rylan Nix from Winoka. Fourth place is made. into show ring number one. A little extra excitement over here on Saturday morning. Good job to all those cattle wranglers over here in the whole
as we get out here before I talk this Dexter class and in it, it probably applies to both sides if you take a look at it. We had the incident here where one got away and uh, you know we had uh, ring help to go ahead and tackle it to, to get it caught and, and folks Nothing ever happens at this thing. If you truly enjoy the event we're at here at OIE, nothing happens without the volunteers and the selfless folks that want to put things together. The ring help we've had, I'm sure Barrett would say the same thing in terms of uh, folks helping us get the rings together. So the interns and volunteers, folks, give them a nice round of applause because it what's what makes it happen. Now if we talk a little bit about the two heifers, I thought these things were extremely close. I didn't think there's a lot of spread between them in terms of this size and maturity. You know, some slight differences I gave in terms of depth of a body, I thought tied in tighter from her chest floor to her rear rib and flank, and probably just a little better in terms of hock to the ground, but that uh, be a very debatable point in terms of one that's got some body. The dark red heifer, I like her color, I like her smoothness, uh, her transitional traits are extremely good. Uh, but as we just look at her, just kind of her hind leg structure, I'd change ever so slightly for this pair, but compliments of both those two exhibitors. Over in the sheep show, or Number one, your class five results. Congratulations to your class winner, Karma Tiffin from the Asher FFA, followed by Georgia Baker from the Cheyenne 4-H. We'll now show for your champion and reserve champion, Dex Jeffer, champion reserve champion. Our class winners making their way into the show ring. The breeding heifers, your class one winner was Olivia Bondock from Woodwind 4-H. Class two, also Olivia Bondock. Class three, Anna Corley from Sperry 4-H. Class four, Georgia Baker from the Cheyenne 4-H. And class five, Karma Tiffin from the Asher FFA. Show off our champion and reserve champion, Dexter Breeding Heifer. Division, you know, you just come out here, and it's and it's obviously not a division that I get, uh, you know, to, that I do very many times, and I think it's interesting. But I sure compliment the exhibitors for bringing us, you know, quality of cattle, and I can sure see the the usefulness in this breed if you take a look at it. Uh, you, you know, as you heard about urban sprawl and some backyard farms, uh, you just your your acre per cow or cows per acre, maybe in this sense here. It, it has, has some logic and I can see, you know, where we can raise protein in different areas. And they do the same magical things every cow does. They can take feedstuffs, grass that we can't utilize as humans and make boy a, a really good tasty treat for us as well. So with their, uh, I think the same composition body goes, I think we've got some similarities through that. You know, I think there's still a heifer to me that, that fits the bill in terms of what I like of quality and kind 
line as we move forward. We're going to represent this division as we move on. So, folks, give a nice round of applause on this side. We'll get you a champion here at OIE. Congratulations, your champion, Dexter Breeding Heifer, comes out of Class 1, Olivia Bach from the Woodland 4-H. And your reserve, Georgia Baker from the Cheyenne 4-H. Congratulations. Champion, bred and owned, will now show for reserve for your bred and owned. Showing for reserve, bred and owned. Dexter Breeding Heifer.
Again, we're out here in Redknapp side, which I still think uh, you're going to be very redundant what I say, but I think it's uh, it's an important division need to be recognized by these young people. Uh, not only is it just uh, the importance since they are for us, but on future and being in production. This young lady had champion which was a bread known to one to show, and he's going to have the next best here to be reserved. So give her a nice round of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations again to Olivia Bondock. And she had your champion and reserve champion, bread and own. Herford, breeding heifers, Herfords, be ready. Class one will be making their way into show ring number one. Cruise along here just a little bit and trying to get going and uh, you know you just you, you get back here and you talk this here as a collective group of people and and you talk about the benefits of what they have and what it means to have an animal 
uh, and to be be bonded to. And then I was talking to a young man about Lake in there with her heifer and third. And you know, I heard us say in there one time that there's uh, the best for the inside of a young person is to be an outside of a calf. You know, and he tells me that she, uh, you know, she loves her many Herefords. Uh, she likes it. He just, she loves it and bonds to him. Uh, and I think that's just is just very neat. And I know you guys have probably been uh, been around. She's been showing every year, but uh, you know, it just becomes you know kind of where we get to the placing part of it. Really, it doesn't mean anything because really, truly, you know, it's this personal development and betterment for each one of us out here in the competition side and picking picking a winner is. Uh, you know, it's kind of secondary where you where we're at. So we'll talk about that. But as far as a class winner, to me, and just judging the calf and the animal is the heifer to go ahead. And she's long bodied. She's the most correct in her rear hock, the way she sets down at the ground, the way she moves. Uh, I think this is a good spot where she's at. Like the upper skeleton, the one in second. Uh, she's good in terms of the upper shape. Just like to give her a little bit more softness to her pas pastern. Your heifer there in third, I like her in terms of the front two-thirds of her body. From a structure standpoint, i got to change her hind leg. But uh, folks, give all these guys, these exhibitors, a very, very heartfelt round of applause. Very, uh, very good class.
at her shoulder the way she tucked up in her chest before. Uh, still good in terms of body or A1 in terms of condition. Drop her toe head down just a little bit and she can uh, she can really, really warm it up. The one Aaron, like I talked about, she's nice. Gives up a little bit to the one and just extension. Length of front end, you do have the advantage. Top, a little more hip. I like some roundness to your rib, but you just don't set down quite as nicely from rear hock to the ground in her pastern when we go ahead and, uh, and talk about from a structure standpoint. But nice pair, good job to the two exhibitors. Congratulations over here on your class one earlier, the results for Clayton Rolla from Roth with the class winner, followed by Lake <laughs> Howard from Ringling FFA, by Michaela Miner from Calistra FFA, and Lake and Howard, and your class two winner, Asher Stahl from Calvin 4-H, followed by Hayden Hart from the Celine FFA. We now have a class three, single entry, class three, a mini Herford, breeding heifers and show ring. I'm in Hereford side. We've got a single entry, uh, high quality heifer here. A uh, young lady brings us. She's feminine in terms of head and neck, blends nice in terms of her shoulder. She too is good in terms of her rib, maybe not the hair coat. Presentation of a couple that we've had uh, before there, but quality and kind, very nice heifer. Nice job. Chloe Young from the How 4 H. She'll be your class three winner. We'll move right into class four. And your mini Herford breeding heifers, class four, making their way into show ring. A mini, so we do have a little size advantage to the one uh, win the class, but that's not where she wins the class. She uh, she does so just from a balance and body standpoint. She's big in terms of the sheer depth from the top of her back uh, to the bottom of her underline. She just got uh, lots of capacity from that standpoint. Uh, still, and still is square in terms of top and hip, and those are some of the things that she just uh, she does over the one and second. The one and second is is a little more is a little more feminine headed, a little cleaner in her throat, probably a little tidier right there in her chest floor. Gets a little forward in terms of her 
her front knee. I'd like to soften her structure, give her a little more body compared to the one right there ahead of her. But a very nice heifer. Uh, congratulations to those two exhibitors. Another good, good class here in our mini Hereford. Uh, you know, young man brings us a really well presented. Uh, she's got a beautiful hair coat. She's clipped and uh, dialed in to to the nines. Uh, she's got a beautiful pro pattern when you stand back off of her. her got some femininity. You know, we'd probably soften her structure up a little bit and turn her lay her back at her knee and have her be a little more comfortable as to put her in motion, but she's a beautiful pattern to have her. The one second, I don't know if she's an upgrade in terms of structure because I would probably change her front shoulder angle the way she sits down in terms of her height. You know, I like the freshness you know, about her. She's got some shape, just not as much to her in terms of just squareness and body to the class winner. But Again, nice pair. Congratulations. Over here in show ring number one, earlier your class four results, your class winner was Zane Skinner from Hydro Equally 4-H, followed by Isaiah Greenfield from Pawnee County. And your class five results, your class winner, Keaton Alexander, Followed by Braden Greenfield from Pawnee County. We now have class six in the show ring of your mini Hereford breeding heifers.
No doubt about it. This is as uh, challenging a pair of cattle that I've had judge here uh, so far here today. <coughs> They're both good. They're both extremely good within their own right, and you kind of just go through. And I know we talk about uh, you know, judging these as, as mini herbers, but they're basically a herbal, and you've got to, to you know look at that the difference. And the separating fact, and where I really like this one to start with, and it just absolutely as she goes, her structure is just awesome. The way she's got some length to her hip, she's utilized her rear hock really well. She sits down to ground and reaches and grabs and, and pushes when she goes, and she maintains her balance extremely well. She gives up a little bit of body to, to the one there in second, but I just love her personal look uh, and really appreciate and tie into her soundness. And not that the one in second has many issues from that standpoint. She's one, I told a young man, he said his dad put her together. He did a great job. She is top notch. The way she's put together, she's she's good in terms of just her center body, in terms of how how impressive she is for some having some outer curvature to her rib, and yet still good from her rear rib to her flank. You know, the the, the minor things as I get in there, she just uh, doesn't maybe get out of her front as well as the other one. And just as you look and square up in terms of hooks to pins or tail head, it's a little higher than maybe what I get is comfortable with. But that's a beautiful pattern, good necked pair of high quality ones that I sure do nothing but uh, give respect and, and admiration to those two exhibitors in that pair. Congratulations to your class six winner, Mini Herford Breeding Heifers. Exhibited by Caitlin Ramsey from the Anchi FA, followed by Hunter Harris from Dip to second place. Move to, move to our final class, class seven of mini Hereford breeding heifers. There will be a single entry here in class seven. You know, a single entry out here gives me uh, back to jumping me back a little more confidence, make sure I get this class right. But, uh, you know, stout back, stout hip, and it's got some bull to her. Uh, probably softened her structure up a little bit, but they did a nice job of getting, you know, really well presented, ready to show. Very nice single entry. Congratulations to Josie Chandler from the Elgin FFA with your class seven winner. We'll now bring all of our class winners in to show for your champion and reserve champion, Mini Hereford Breeding Heifers. Over in the Show ready to show for champion and reserve champion Minnie Herford Heifer. Your class one winner, Clayton Rolla from Roth Orange. Class two, Asher Stahl from Calvin Orange. Class three, Chloe Young from Pow. Class four, Zane Sinner from the Hydro Equally Forage. Your class five winner, <laughs> Alexander Latta Forage. Class six, Caitlin Ramsey from Comanche. Seven, Chelsea Chandler from Elgin.
it's uh, got here this many Hereford Division. I cannot say enough uh, positives to say about these kids. And, and you know, sometimes it, uh, you talk about the quality of men at Hereford, you kind of a training ground, but. Uh, but we've got some folks, uh, young people of different ages, but can really get after it and show show them really well. And I know it kind of goes to the old saying, and I don't know, uh, it doesn't matter the size of the dog in a fight, it's how much fight you got in a dog. And we got some, we got some young people here wanting to fight to get a piece of a division uh, out here. And it, it's been very impressive, and I know um, you know, doing many her for several different times, you know, I knew the quality would be good. I'm very impressed. And we do very out. Uh, and the reason you know, that we do probably get a little variation in this division uh, is solely because uh, this top end is so good. And, and you know, that first one in the first class was, was uh, built really well. You know, that one come out of second class young man, I thought that thing was, was, was a spectacular heifer. She still is. I love the beauty to her front and her balance, her structure. And we get into a couple of nice heifers as we treat in the trio in there. You know, that do some positive things for the for the mini Hereford division and maybe not to the extreme of the young man's heifer there behind. And then we get in that next heifer. You know, I had a really, really challenging pair in there. And that young lady does a great job of showing them the fun to see in the big senior yearly. You know, she's a powerful, stout heifer, actually a little better. You bring her out here in the lineup maybe than she did in sort of just as a single entry. So uh, it's a big deal again. And my congratulations to these young people. So put your hand together uh, as we get chance. Another one of those classes.
as we get out of here for a, a champ no, 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 here to do that. Got about here and it took just a uh, half a head and put them back in motion one more time, you know, just to make sure. And any time you get a show of the quality of magnitude, you've got to, for me, I've got to see him go and you got to see balance in terms of structural correctnesses on the move. So with that, uh, again, this is a good day. These two young people that have read them, raised them, brought them back out here to parade in front of you. The one where I thought that was the best in terms of structure, quality, kind. Young man here on this end, congratulations. You'll be champion and bread known. Good job. You bet. Over at the sheep side. in show ring number one. Congratulations to your champion, Minnie Herfer, Breeding Heifer, exhibited by Caitlin Ramsey from the Comanche FFA. And your reserve was Hunter Harris. And your bred and own champion, Clayton Rolla from Roth 4-H. And your reserve bred and own, Chancellor from Elgin FFA. Heifers, uh, you know, I think just a, just a good challenging class to go ahead and start with, and I think you've got to do some gives and takes in terms of coming up with a placing, but, uh, you know, femininity, smoothness, and pattern, structural correctness is where I land on to go ahead and start with. You know, she's very feminine in terms of her head, her neck, and to her shoulder, still good enough in terms of outer hip. And the best in the class in terms of just her hawk, cleanliness to her hawk, 
the way she sets it down and takes a stride off her high end. I think a good place to start. If it needs a little more muscle, but uh, I'm going to be okay with that pattern. You know, the next best in terms of just follows her in terms of head, neck, chest, femininity in the front two thirds would be the one I go ahead and put a second. Uh, not a quite as attractive right there from her hooks, her pins on her hip, and then it kind of carries her down. You know, hop the ground when you walk it out there, but a good feminine styled heifer. A big stout one there, the young man got in third. Uh, she has a growth advantage for her weight per day of age, and you talk about the practicality, that is good. Uh, it off of both ends, got just a little swelling right there in the front knees. I'd like to probably change or, or see different than the little white mount. Uh, you know, just a little narrower chested, a little narrower built type female, uh, and just have uh, to change your hip, hip structure. But again, very nice class, a uh, good way to go here in our British Whites.
over here in class one, your winner in the British white breeding heifers. Congratulations to Champ Copeland from the FFA, FFA. followed by Briley from Ulaga. In third, Jet Smith for the and fourth, Avery Mae Jenkins from Chelsea as well. We're the British Whites. Uh, you know, just a very, very nice heifer. Uh, they go to be a single entry uh, young man and just very passionate about his heifer and I can sure enjoy visiting with about it and she gets out here by herself and understandably she get uh, is a little uncomfortable once to get back to some of her uh, her friends and some things that uh, she could relate to but a beautiful pattern nice feminine female to go ahead and win this class nice job young man our champion south down over in the sheep show Two winner, Caleb Nickel from Chelsea FFA. We'll move right into class three of the British White Breeding Heifers. and bring her around over here on uh, British White. You know, the trio, we go ahead and end up leaving them as, I, as you brought them to me uh, in terms of not that that really had anything to do with that. There's a really nice class winner to go ahead and win. I think it's a good heifer. She's square, the way she maintains her balance. She's big in terms of her body. I like her level of squareness to her hip, and she gets out and goes in terms of the best reach in terms of her hind leg. The stout muscular heifer here in second, we can like those things about her. She got some turn up high and yet still maintains some squareness from a muscularity standpoint. We'd probably square up in terms of hock to ground, uh, in terms of like placement on a structural correctness standpoint. But I like her body and I still think she maintains her balance a little better than the one does here in third. She's a long fronted, feminine fronted female in terms of what's good about her. Just needs more rear rib and flank just to give her uh, that extra dimension there that we need in terms of where we'd like to see for, for a cow potential. But again, a nice trio. Congratulations. Congratulations to Jet Smith from the Chelsea FFA. He'll have your class winner, followed by Timothy Martin from Share Mutual, and third place, Trenton Briley from the Ulaga FFA. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. We'll move to class four of British White breeding heifers.
as we get here in this uh, fair British way, but we've got a high quality heifer here to go ahead and win the class. Uh, she's got just that, you know, that look that we're talking about. She's got that maternal feminine look because she's long and neat about her front end build. She's still fresh and dimensional in terms of that center body. She's got some lower rear rib. Uh, got that swoop to her belly that we like about. She's square. She just is sing pretty handedly. Young man, I, as I tell you, you've got a very nice heifer. Just gives up a little bit, a uh, really nice one right there in front of her. Uh, your heifer is clean about her and then maybe has a little more shape in terms of hip than does our class winner, but after that, uh, she, she's proportional. You just need more of her to go ahead and compete with that right ahead of her. Nice pair, nice job. Nice class here on the shrop. On your class four of your British white breeding heifers, your class winner, congratulations to Kylie Spradling from Morrison FFA, followed by Carl Timpton from Chelsea FFA. We'll now have class five single entry in your British white breeding heifers.
Again, we've got a uh, very nice British for here to go ahead and, you know, we had a good one in that last class. You know, she's just very proportional. She got some top shape, uh, got some dimension to her, got some turns, still very, very attractive. Uh, we'll get her back out here. We'll talk her about her as well. But uh, that's a high quality female young lady brings us. Congratulations to Kylie Spradling from the Morrison FFA as she was her class five winner in the British White Heifers. We'll now bring all of our class winners in to show for your champion and reserve champion British White Breeding Heifers. Making their way into the show ring to show for your champion reserve, champion British White, your class one winner, Champ Copeland from Chelsea FFA. Your class two winner, Caleb Nickel from Chelsea. Class three, Jet Smith from Chelsea FFA. Class four, Kylie Spradling from the Morrison FFA. And your class five, also Kylie Spradling from the Morrison FFA. Show for champion reserve, champion British White. Folks, as we're way through uh, another really good division here at OYE and your breeding heifer show, and uh, we're in the British White division, and I and I really, truly, we walked in, I wasn't quite expecting to get the top end of this division as impressive as it is, and I mean that as a compliment, you know, and I talked about one time there before, you know, we want to come in and you come to a show of this level, when we bring them all back out here, you know, have a chance to see see really good, high quality or greatness within their breeds, and sometimes, you know, you can't ever take that for granted. And sometimes some they make it look easy, but you know, when you compare back in their breeds, or you take it back how good these cattle will be when we gather them all up together at the end of the day to to pick us an overall. It's just, it's just impressive. We get a break from from our lives of what we do to come to town and celebrate the youth. Uh, out here, so it's it's neat. Put your hands together, give them a nice round of applause. We'll get you a really nice champion. Congratulations to your champion, British White, coming out of Class Four, put by Kylie Spradling from the Morrison FFA. And your reserve, also Kylie Spradley, coming out of a class five. And she also has your champion, Brett and Owen. Congratulations, Kylie. Let's give all of our British white exhibitors a big round of applause. Thanks to our judge as well.
one of the classes. Starts out our AOB division with a black Herford. It brings one out to us, very highly presented. She's got that quality show, steer, show heifer look to her. Uh, she just got that just a presence and just the, uh, the elegant look she brings out here. Just fun to look at. Uh, I know it would be obvious to say she could handle some competition, but I like her a lot. This is a good way to start off this AOB division at a high level. Thank you. Our results all of our second class are Shropshire breeding. In show ring number one, your first class of AOB breeding heifers. Congratulations to your class winner, Jaylee Kelso from the Quentin 4-H. We'll now have our class two making their way into the show ring, our AOB breeding heifers. Very nice, uh, just a pair.
Boy, really good class here as we get on down through uh, lineup. But two, three extremely well presented ones uh, brought to us. Now there was, uh, you know, as a go, and not necessary to get to where we set precedence because, uh, you know, the heifer that I go ahead and start with, I think she does so just, you know, when you put her in motion, I think she maintains her balance. You know, or she holds herself better she does maybe what she's standing there. But she's so long and attractive in her front end, long in her body, still lean in her condition, but true in terms of that, you know, the outer shape to her lower rib, still clean about her joints. Now, ideally, though, where I probably get a little critical of her and maybe not on that type is, is I really like to change her behind her shoulders into her fore rib. And as we get working into these kind of cattle, I'll probably get just a little tougher on one right there in that area. Now, I like the completeness of the one here in second. She looks so, so good when you put when you put her in the motion, the way she st stands or keeps her, maintains her top line. She's more correct in her spine as she gets out there. You know, but one, as you look at her from a size and muscle standpoint, maybe just extra uh, moderate in terms of those uh, characteristics. But I love her balance. I love her structure. I appreciate the red one in terms of well presented. She's a little more shapely type of heifer in a good way. She's got some turn to her ribs. She's got some shape to her hip. For me, it's her tail head, her hawk. She gets a little sharper hawk. I'd like to set her down better in terms of just length of the past. She's a fresh, fresh fronted, uh, full ribbed one that, uh, that that has got a lot of good quality to her. The black earth is one that offers as much growth of any of the matter. She's extended in terms of length of body, good in terms of her angles. Just gets maybe up in her top a little droop in terms of her hip, though. I'd like to see the black fur. She's a moderate size one that just is a little tighter in terms of her back. Uh, gets underneath herself a little bit more, but she's a feminine, well known half her. Congratulations again. Very, very nice class. Here's we uh, come to our Shropshire. Back over here at the AOBs again, and I, I think if you just follow the ringside, we've got one, uh, 
you know, she's not necessarily perfect, but boy, she uh, pretty overpowering in this drive of cattle. You talk about cattle on, on the female side. I like them. Them uh, you know, cattle products have got some shape too, got some dimension. She's bold. She's heavy muscle, but yet she's still smooth in terms of the way she's put together. She's really big footed. I think she balances extremely well. I'd like to thin the top side of her neck up. She gets just a little cresty right in there for me. You know, I think just her chest floor to her flank is awesome. She may have a little forward chest, but everything fits together. She's just so proportional and. Uh, you know, good heifer to go ahead and start with. There's no doubt the one in second. Your heifer does have the advantage in terms of fem femininity and a little cleaner in terms of her front end. She's good in terms of her angles, but uh, where we get into, you could fit her inside of my class winner. Uh, and not that it's uh, you know the, the, as big a deal, but yet there's just a lot more of her in a really good built one as well. But her structural and body still allows her kind to go ahead and excel over the next two. The red one's really long bodied, strong about her top line, straight in those lines there, but a little too tubular, needs a little more depth of, of side, depth of flank to be more competitive than the moderate sized one coming out here next. You know, it just gets to be into her structure. I just like the cleaner rear hock. It gets a little sharp from that standpoint. She's very proportional. It built well, but as we talk about, she gets out there, gets it underneath herself, doesn't quite have the balance. But a good fun class. We're getting into some nice quality here. Over our structure, our champion. Your class two results earlier. Congratulations to Braxton Murray from Omega with your class winner, followed by Brecken Murray, third, Braxton Murray, fourth, Safira Uptergrove from Lone Grove FFA, and fifth, Connor Summers. And your class three placings. Congratulations to Kale Cook from Lindsay FFA, followed by Brady Blackburn from Marlowe, third, Bailey Matlock, and in fourth, Reese Nickel from the Bing FFA. We now have class four of your AOB breeding heifers in show ring number one. Also, just as a reminder, on the cattle show over here in show ring number one, we will not be taking a lunch break. We'll just continue to move forward with the cattle show. As we get out here, and uh, two contrasting types, Aberdeen versus the Balancer Heifer. You know, just staying with that type, uh, just a beautiful pattern, very feminine headed, extremely well balanced black heifer to go ahead and start. Everything fits together so well in, in her pattern and the way she gets out. In just in terms of her rear hock and structure, that's probably one of the other places she does excel. The red heifer is a big stout, wide topped, uh, big heifer that's extremely long bodied. I like that about her. But you know, when we talk about her, I just like to square her up from a hock to the ground and give her just a little more freedom of movement as she gets out here. A nice pair, compliments of both those two exhibitors. Congratulations to Brady Blackburn from the Marlowe FFA with your class winner, followed by Abby Shobe from Grove FFA. Class five of AOB breeding heifers making their way into the show ring.
Folks, we get out here in this uh, division of a this class of AOBs, and we've got uh, a few different breeds brought out here. And young lady, I'm not taking anything away from your one there on third, but these first two are extremely high quality cows. They have a lot of good to them. It, it doesn't matter what breed you make them, quality is quality, good is good. The Bronco headed one, the Black Hereford. Uh, I think she's just so so impressive to have that much length of body, body mass. Uh, and just put it all together in a really good, smooth package. I think she's still very fresh and feminine up at her front end for her size. She is so clean about her rear hock joint. I talk about that. You talk about structure. You know, her foot size is good, but she's clean jointed. For that long body, where she excels the, the, the heifer right behind her, where your advantage or who I'll talk about, she maintains her top better when we put them in motion, and that's where her difference is. I watched her come out. She's one of them cattle I talk about, the two-step, or took me a couple steps to realize she's good in terms of her look. She's highly presented. It's a good heifer. I like that one real well to win the class. Your Solaire heifer, I think she's spectacular. She is way... She has a distinct advantage uh, in terms of just head, neck, freshness to her front end, the way she transitions shoulder to four rib. She's good in terms of body shape. Uh, you know, the biggest thing, it's not the size difference, but you get right in there when I put her in motion, she gets tight right there in her loin, which caused her get up in terms of her tail head, and she just does not make that seamless balance on the move that I talk about. But that is a well high quality heifer that's got a lot of good and it's my pleasure to get a get a chance to evaluate and I enjoyed that pair really well. Young lady, you've got a very nice heifer, right? Your Aberdeen heifer. She covers the basics. She's good structured, big bodied, well balanced. She doesn't give us the extremes of those two ahead of us in terms of quality or hair coat. But, but she's a very nice animal. Young lady did a good job. My compliments to her. Congratulations to Ben Eddy from the Lone Grove FFA as your Class 5 winner, followed by Brooklyn Matlock from Surreal, and third, Ava Summers from Lindsay 4-H. We'll move right to Class 6 of AOB Breeding Heifers, Class 6. As we get out here, this is an impressive trio of heifers here. We've got the Gelvy Gelvy balancers, uh, which represent these trio in this division. But, uh, you know, young man, your heifer to go and start with. She maybe doesn't have the hair coat of the two cattle come in that class before, but that's one impressive uh, beef cow, the way she's built. She's impressive where she really blows me away just in terms of foot size, structure, the way she commands the ring as she puts her foot down and, and drives. She's bold-bodied.
uh, you get her set up there and everything fits together. She's not the littlest necked one, the one behind her is a little nicer necked, uh, but it fits together. I just like that heifer extremely well. If I change her, I like the thin top side of her neck up just a little bit. I like your heifers we talked about there in terms of just the, the, the smoothness and femininity she gives up there in that front end. She's seamless the way she goes from her neck shoulder to her fore rib good in midsection. She needs a little bit more lower quarter. She needs some more muscle down low to give her a balance from the side I'm kind of after compared to the power of the heifer in front of her. But you did a good job. That's a well presented, high quality heifer. That's fun to evaluate as well as we've been seeing in this class. This is a good broody cow prospect. She, she's got power. She's got body. She's got mass. All those I want to talk, talk about. She's starting to fill in her under, udder a little bit. But where she's not as sharp in her lines compared to the two cattle right there ahead of her. You know, she's, she's not as long in terms of her front, but she gets a little up at her shoulder, kind of dips down on her top, gets a little bit up in her tail head. But one you can still be proud of because she's got a tremendous amount of good to her as a big stout, broody beef cow. Showed well. Congratulations. Nice job. Congratulations to your class winner. Kyson Teal from Newkirk FFA, followed by Race Abney from North Rock Creek FFA, and third place Lincoln Brannon from Stewart 4-H. We'll now bring our class winners in and show for your Channel Reserve Champion AOB Breeding Heifers. Your Class 1 winner, Jay Lee Kelso from Quentin 4-H. Your Class 2, Braxton Murray from Lomega FFA. Your Class 3, Kale Cook, Lindsay FFA. Your winner in Class 4, Brady Blackburn from Marlowe FFA. And your Class 5 winner, Ben Eddy from Lone Grove. And your final Class winner, Class 6, Kyson Teal from Newkirk. Showing for champion, reserve champion, AOB, breeding heifer. Uh, your AOB division, and I tell you, it, uh, you know, it's been a really good show, and not taking anything away from them other divisions, but boy, I, I don't know if you can tell with me, you get fired up, and you, you get uh, your adrenaline gets flowing because I know how hard it is uh, to bring cattle, and I talked about that before. Sometimes we just take for granted how nice those things are, how they get there, and, and where they're at from a presentation, but there's a lot of hours and time and monotonous days to actually get to where we want to be out here. This young lady starts out here at the Black Hereford, 
You know, I talked to her really well, and she is. She's high quality. She's really well presented. You know, it just doesn't happen. I know she's a single entry, but, you know, just to take the time, the pride to, to come out here and present one like that of that quality. And I don't know if today's her day, uh, but there's a day that she's going to have it because I do think she's extremely nice. The one coming out here, the next class, and that was a tough, tough placing. We had a little bit of size difference, and I talked about her transitioning from her shoulder to her fore rib a little better, but she's so unique in the way her neck comes up out of her shoulder. She's well presented, and she looks probably as good as anything when you put her in motion go. That's a very, very high-quality heifer. This heifer blowed me away, blew me away within her class. She's stout and bold, and bold can be beautiful, and there's no doubt that those extra stout, powerful females make cows. Uh, nice heifer. You know, still kind of refine her head and neck a little bit. The Aberdeen heifer won her class. Beautiful in terms of her pattern. She didn't give up anything in terms of just proportions and shape. And you take a look within that division. You know, I would think that would be one would be extremely tough uh, within her division. Maybe gives up a little bit, in my opinion, to a couple others behind. Then we kind of get down in here to the power, uh, the power of our show of some high quality ones. You know, and both of those, the Solaire heifer behind this one, our Black Herford. You know, she's so big and powerful and yet so well presented in the way they put her together. You know, I, I do love her rear hawk and how clean jointed she is and still being really, really good about her foot. Um, and I love her body. You could tell that one's extremely high quality. The questions I've got to ask myself, depending on where you're at, and I didn't really talk about there, but, you know, how she gets out of her front end and the way she kind of opens up a little bit to the top side of her shoulder. But, uh, you know, she's beautiful in pattern. She's well, well presented. The other thing she's got going for you to be a kind of an inside for folks that know me well, she's marked the way I sure like them, so that automatically makes her in contention with this show judge. The heifer here on the back side, you know, this one doesn't have the hair coat of the ones there in front of her, but uh, young man's got her broke extremely well, and she blows you away in terms of the way she puts her, foot, her feet down. She's so big-footed, so sound and athletic for a big stout one. You know, when you talk about her neck could be just a little thinner, but gosh, it fits together so well. I like her body. I like her mass. Um, that's just a very, very good heifer. The longer you look at her, the more you like her. But impressive lineup. Folks, that soon. If you appreciate the quality of these folks, bring it your hands together for an awesome. Congratulations to your AOB coming out of Class 6, exhibited by Kyson Teal from the Newkirk FFA. And your reserve right there out of Class 5, Ben Eddy from Lone Grove FFA. Congratulations to both of those big winners and all of our exhibitors. We'll now show for Champion and reserve champion, bred and owned, AOB breeding heifers, bred and owned, champion and reserve champion. Folks, we're out here to pick a champion bred known, and, and I get, uh, you know, it's just, uh, she bred known too? Pull her, yeah. <laughs> hey folks, I don't think about her ring staff's got the confidence that I could find her back again. They get her in and take her out. Give them a hand there. <laughs> Congratulations to your champion, Brett, and known as well, Tyson Teal. 
so that makes it a little easier. But that's very impressive for that young man. Uh, you're doing a good job. And I tell you, this is an impressive set of bread known heifers. They're all four of them deserving, and you could talk it any which way, and I could make any one of those things to reserve uh, without a doubt. But young lady, just the way, the quality you got, I felt bad leaving you out of the top, so it's my pleasure to make you reserve champion. Congratulations. Congratulations to Brooklyn Matlock as your reserve there in the bread and oil. breed was Olivia Bondock from Woodland 4-H your champion Minnie Herford Heifer Caitlin Ramsey from Comanche FFA your champion British White Kylie Spradley from Morrison FFA and then champion AOB Mr. Kyden Teal from Newkirk FFA, Sean for your supreme ORB heifer. We get down here in this uh, AOB division, and I it couldn't be just happier we've had. We've had. And I tell you, so far here today, uh, you know, this competition has been very tough. It's been challenging. Uh, it, it's been good. And I, and I just uh, of these, all four of these would have to be uh, national caliber cattle within their respective divisions. I can't imagine. Uh, Little Dexter Heifer proportional and build any better better than where she is. I've done some different mini Herefords. I think those two mini Herefords are are very very good. I think they're next level in terms of quality. So you know that they could handle some competition. Uh, uh, whites go. I have not sure. I've probably seen one of of that quality and kind. So I know that. Uh, she, she's extra special, and then we had a good division there. You know, year, years ago when I you know, wasn't really exposed to an Iowa boy, come down to Oklahoma State, and I know trying to get to know Oklahoma, and, and the late Gerald Callahan was my coach and, and, and a great mentor, and he's like, you know, there's some things you've got to understand about uh, if you don't know the folks in Oklahoma. He said, one, they're, they're, they're very patriotic. They're proud of their state. Uh, he says you got to know that about him, but the other thing else, people of Oklahoma love competition. They like to compete, and this this is an example of where you folks like to compete, where we get in this division. It's just, just impressive. So it's fun. I'm having the time of my life. Put your hands together for these young people. We're going to get us an outstanding pair.
Congratulations to your Supreme, your AOB there, Tyson Teal. Congratulations. And your reserve. Following that will be Ben Eddy. Congratulations, Ben. We're now showing for reserve, bred and owned as Tyson Hill had the, also the Supreme bred and owned after winning the Supreme overall. Again, we get, uh, you know, the division there, winner is our bred and owned, and that's impressive and proud, really sincerely proud for that young man to have that. Uh, and then we had the honor, young lady, you coming back to right behind her in that division. And I talked about how nice she was, and she still is nice, and she'll still follow her. Congratulations, you're going to be a reserve champion, Brad Known. Congratulations, Congratulations to Brooklyn, Brooklyn Matlock with your reserve, AOB, Brad and Owned. As I mentioned before, we'll move right along with our heifer show. Here in just a few minutes, have our Charlet heifers our Charlet breeding heifers making their way into the show ring here in just a few minutes. Class one. Class one of Charlet breeding heifers will be a single entry. Class one, single entry. All right, young lady brings us a nice single entry to start, or heifer she calls Phoebe. Uh, very feminine up there through her front end, got a good balance, little August heifer calf. Uh, still immature in terms of size, uh, or maturity, I should say, uh, relative to her condition, but I think she balances up pretty well. Nice job. Congratulations to Emerson Poole from Mulhall, Orlando. She'll be your class one winner. Move right along to class two, the Charlet breeding heifers.
As we get out here in this uh, Purebred Charlie class, and uh, we had to wait up just a little bit, but boy, we was in a groove, and I was grooving because I found me a heifer that you can sure tie into for this age group that uh, to really like. That's a high quality one. She's got a big time look in terms of front end. She's still soft in her in her midsection, got some power. She still matches her age with maturity, and I think that's very important. Uh, you know, especially in a breed that we can get we can get them big in terms of kind but that one is high quality good place to start I thought just as easily as she gets first this one gets second now I think there's some different distance between first and second or a cut if you would in terms of livestock judging terminology uh, but this one has about as much spread to the one there in third she's still smooth made she's fresh in terms of her midsection good in terms of her angles just not as amplified in any of those areas as our class winner the heifer in third I think as you go through and look and uh, you know she comes out here she covers the basics I think fundamentally she's better in terms of her midsection she's better in terms of her her rib and balance and structure than the next two cattle behind her, but yet not ready to compete with the two two right there ahead of her. Next heifer coming out again, and both these two heifers, I'm going to talk them the same. They're bigger, longer uh, cattle that need just a little more center body, a little more condition, a little more midsection, and still both of them probably a little sharper hocked. This one maybe gives up the most in terms of structure, but again, uh, nice class of white ones here in your Charlet show. Last two winner in the Charlet breeding heifers, Camden Filippo from Rush Springs FFA, followed by Jackson Nichols from Sealing. Third, Caden Russell from Colgate. Your fourth place, Sadie Rice from the Cleveland FFA. And fifth, Reese Reno from the Cheyenne FFA. We'll move right along to class three of your Charlet breeding heifers, class three. Making their way into show ring, none.
as we uh, kick back after.
What an awesome class to go ahead and judge over here in your Charlotte division. And, uh, you know, I kind of go through, and I know some of you walk through today, we finally get a big enough class that maybe can follow a little logic in terms of how I like to look at them. Because as I go through, and, and I like to make sure my first thought is, what I like the best and then find them better ones and then come through and sort and work or when they're not as comfortable going through and having defaulted into my best ones I like to to get excited for and be ready for them. The young lady's effort to go to win the class is one that uh, you can sure lay your eyes on really quick too and one I think she's spectacular in terms of her her, her side presence in terms of look, she's got some femininity, but yet with that, she's got that unique ability to still have some extra shape, some extra dimension. Uh, she gets off from the side and, and then looks good. You get her three quarters. I think she's really, really nice in that standpoint. She's good at about her feet. I think she's got some advantages there comparatively. You know, I would maybe square up just a little bit right there, just a little bit in terms of her pins, but that's a very, very nice effort. You know, I told, you know, told the young lady there is, is this one in second, you know, she's a little bit more elevated heifer in terms of not so extra big legged, big bone where she maybe looks a little taller, but she's extremely flexible. She's awesome in terms of her structure, and that is where she has that advantage moving into the second hole because it's all about her her length and squareness to her hip, her length of body, and still freshness. She doesn't have the dimension to the, my class winner, but uh, the, the lineup, she's the best in terms of her structure, in terms of rear hock, the way she sets down on her, her past. That's the quality effort that, that uh, you know, you sure tie in and, and really tough to break apart. Her heifer, I migrated to her really fast. Her hair quality, hair coat is spectacular. She just has that brilliant at her shine too when you look at her she's so proportion so good in terms of her balance she's presented so well love her full rib to her rear rib and flank everything i like about her. but there's times when i put her in motion as good a show person you can you can't really show that out of her she gets too straight in terms of her rear hot pants she doesn't allow her to stay coordinated as she's the longer you get into the air that i get to pick on and i'm not ready for the first bit just none of you 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 should let the heck out of what i want she views it you brought her anyone on the show here today at hawaii you cut a little short, but like that female. This heifer standing in there is impeccable in terms of just body and rib shape. They turn in a square one with They come to position line. She's just sitting in crowd. We're going to get her. It's just that our quality. She's not quite nice enough to be that level with some of this class. I like the heifer for to talk about one that you could make some reading decisions and movement and versatility where you could go. You know, I that's a dual, dual hitter as far as shape, still moderation, still quality. You could do a few other things you wanted to do. Kind of scared to the taller, longer one. She's a little more immature. But I thought she was really good jointed, really, really flexible, and still had some shape. The big-footed, stout, soft one coming out here next. I like her. Her just her bone, her foot size, her flexibility. I don't know if she ever gets enough true body where the half her in front of her. I think if she matures into a bread heifer and gets some shape, I think she would. I just needs a little more body here today, some shape. And as we get down here in the nice set of high quality charlets, it's just a little different. If it just it's just structure, it's a little bit of a balance, it's a little bit of a kind. But folks, give those a go. Those guys are really, 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 really nice. We're have a here and also set of charlet females. Congratulations to your three of Charlie Breen Heifers, your winner, Kaylin Groves, the Beggs, FFA, followed by Kylan Oaks from Rappaho Butler, third, Pacey McIntyre from 4th and 4-H, fourth, Michaela Bird from Payne County, your fifth place, Lindley Nichols from Sealing 4-H, sixth, Maddie Ashcraft from Clinton, Seventh place, Grace Harton from Adil. Eighth, Avery Staggs from Purcell, 4-H. Ninth, Griffin Lewis from Morrison. And tenth, Shanna Skeen from Empire, FFA. 
will move right into class four of your Charlotte breeding heifers making their way into the show ring.
We out here again, uh, Charlotte Breeders, you're bringing in uh, not any numbers, but boy, we still have some, you know, cattle with quality. And if you're a cow guy, don't matter what you like, you can sure tie in and, and like some things that these top end sure brings us. You know, I think the combination heifer, no doubt, it's a young lady, lady heifer, I start, she's got that extra length of body and smoothness. Bill's got some shape to her. I think, I think she's real proportional. She's real good in her underline from her full rib to her rear rib and flank. Still ties in tight up the upper part of her shoulder. And I think she's got the advantage of, of uh, her rear hock in terms of cleanness to, to her hock there, I think, as she gets out here. But uh, uh, just a good place to start. The heifer in second, I think she's a very dimensional. She's got some robustness to her ribs. She comes up high at the top side of her, her rib cage. Uh, she still takes that muscle and power, still puts it in a nice head and neck and in balanced look from the side. Uh, for me, for where she comes up short in second, she's a little more refined in terms of the foot and bone. Doesn't utilize her rear hock quite as well. I'd change her from that structure as we go ahead and make her go and put her in motion. But boy, that's a functional cow prospect. Does some things uh, very well. We're getting to high growth of the female. Uh, some some cursor Charlay bull offers some, some growth and performance. She's going to offer you that. She's got the distinct advantage in that area of the two right ahead of her. But for me, just didn't see quite the femininity, the smoothness, and quality that that I would have for the top two of her, but a nice female. Another nice headed, good neck would have come out of next. Gets a little more streamlined in terms of her body, a little more up in terms of her tail head. But she's still one that reads with, with quality and femininity out here that we can sure appreciate. Another big out, see one got some hair, they've got her presented well. To me, just a little bit choppy in terms of stride. Uh, gets a little straighter off of both ends, kind of up in terms of back. But still, it's a big body, he must have ever got some hair and presented well. Congratulations to your Class 4 winner over here in the Charlotte Breeding Heifers, Blakely Stem Ulaga, 4-H, followed by Katie Dismukes from McIntosh County, 4-H, third, Eston Hardy from Ryan, FFA, fourth, Maddie Bixler from Tonkawa, FFA, fifth, Shanna Skeen from Empire, FFA. We now welcome Class 5 of Charlotte Breeding Heifers into show ring, Number one. The results out of our Dorset Breeding.
Very good, uh, really good dominant heifer to go ahead and win the class, and I think she's one that read with quality a lot of good, and I think there's some distance between her and uh, in, in, in the next two. I think she starts up there in her front end. Uh, she's very feminine, got a very maternal look. Uh, she's fresh in terms of her condition for her size. She's so true in terms of her body. You know, and I think with a tendency drive, if she excels them and we motion ask them to go. Now, ideally, I would probably change her a little bit in the upper part of her hip, but, uh, but a very, very nice effort to go ahead and start with. We get down to the next two, and, and these two, I think we want to sort one over the other in terms of structure, but I think that they're just not, uh, I think it's the same just for rats. So then we just, just back off them and judge them from my composition. And boy, they just hurt. In terms of section, the way she puts together the big heifer, she's very healthy, very heavy mold, looks good. Just change your term of structure, stand smooth her up a little bit. Three very nice females. Congratulations to your class five winner. The Charlotte Breen Heifers, Claire Cunningham from Woods Grove, followed by Gerson Butler from Idabel, and third, Egan Hardy from the Ryan 4-H. Moving right along to Class 6 of Charlotte Breen Heifers. Class 6. Interesting class here. Uh, a very interesting top pair. I, I kind of wish you could bend the most two sheep.
Boy, this is a really good uh, pair of Charlotte heifers to, to go ahead and talk about. And I think this is probably, uh, you know, one of them classes you got to ask yourself where you want to land because they've got uh, different terms of where you like or where they have some eliteness in terms of the, the difference. <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of ones that you talking to me, uh, you know, talking about maintaining my mouse and talking about structure. So, so as soon as you look at the moves, both of them I thought did uh, in a relative, but then you just talk about uh, four rib, hip, height, and leg uh, is kind of it to be my, my hot button spots as you go out here. And when this one here, you know, she goes, so this one commands your attention the way she picks them up and puts them down. She's so long and deep about her hip. So big and massive in her foot, but yet clean jointed, maintains her her rib shape and her top shape balance really well. When you put her put, put her in her nap, she got a little shoulder comparative to the one 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 second, uh, but boy, it fits it together really well. That's a good animal. I'm sure that they were disappointed when she got those rub spots on her hip rubbed off. Um, maybe it takes away from look, but it does not take anything away from terms of quality. Young lady here in second. This one here is is probably as fit put together uh, anything we've probably seen here. I think that one just is smooth burn. Fit job on her. She's extremely feminine. She's bold. She's still got some rib shape. She's solid from the side in terms of movement. For me, just a hind leg guy. I just like to stout her foot or bone and just set her a little square in terms of her rear hock. But that's still a quality ever. Got a lot of good. Young lady still because is a great cow prospect right there in third. She's bold and beautiful from a rib and dimension standpoint. Just maybe not as attractive in terms of her head and neck and how she blends to her shoulder. But still a very, very, very good animal. I'm all very competitive class of the fun in the division here to try to show. Congratulations to Kylan Oaks, who is your Class 6 winner from the Rapaho Butler FFA, followed by Raylan Unwin from Sulphur, and third, Emma Roberts from the Grove FFA. We'll now move to Class 7, a single entry, Class 7. You know, this single you know, entry here in your Charlotte, uh, well, this one's got a lot of quality. And I told her when she sits up and she stops there, this one's just stunning. Uh, she could just take your breath away in some things that she does because she's so neat in terms of her neck with that much power and top and length of hip and body. Uh, you know, standing there, I think she can, uh, she can really, really do it. But there's some kind of thing. She's a determined way from being a extra special. Uh, she just does this. It may make sense. She's going to be in competition. We could have one and she's still good enough, but she's just so all inspiring when you just stand off and put it over. Very, very, very impressive. Congratulations to Chris Richard, class one of their class seven. Right along class eight in Charlotte Reading Heifers. Class eight making their way into the show ring.
tell you what, on this Charlotte show, if you're not entertained with, with the quality of these exhibitors keep coming at us, and it's, it's, I mean that, and in every class we just keep coming at it, you know, just right at you and right to go. So, you know, as these two walked in, I could tell there was two extra specials right off the get-go that had a lot, a lot of quality and good, and I think, you know, in my mind, it just runs right into what I've been talking about, what I've been doing, same and exact thing I did in that class before. I used one that added the extra power and dimension. You know, this, to me, is still so unique to be that powerful, that bold, and yet still as well balanced and as attractive as she gets. I love her top part of her hip, the length of her hip, the fullness. She still got some high quarters, high foot, everything balances up. She ain't not even bucked up in her forward chest, but folks, I'm a cow guy. I understand the cow side. You take her halter off, kick her out. I'll take that body shape all day long anytime. So the one thing I would maybe critique her just a little bit is her outside toe on this show side. She wants to roll maybe just a little bit more than I do, but, uh, but that would be the only place I would go. This young man, I told him right off the get-go, he gets a one, number one bear's care you could take. That is one brilliantly white one. That does not happen, folks. If you've ever taken care of one of these, it's hard to do it. It gives her that extra special look. She's beautiful from the side uh, and, and just so uh, tremendous in that look. She's soft in terms of her leg. But now when I compare her back, she's not as opened up. She's not as full from her hooks to her pins as our class women are not here as burly. So it's just, just that difference. I've been talking about leaning into that status of power a little bit more, but that's a high quality heifer and my compliments that young man the work that he can do. Young lady, your heifer's got a lot of good to her. She's long bodied, she's stout, she's powerful. She's just not as sharp in terms of lines and not as tucked up in terms of her tail head to give her that look to the look to those two elite ones right there, there, there ahead of her. A very, very best set. Congratulations to those RLA exhibitors. Over in our Over here in the Class 8, your placings in the Charlet Breeding Heifers. Congratulations to your class winner, Remy Yoko Sepulpa FA, by Brazo Heck from Lada 4H, and third, Blair Owl from Canton FFA. Class 9, Charlet Breeding Heifers into the show ring as we speak.
real good record over here. Your Charlotte you sure keep bringing some power and some some difference. And you know, as these things first get out here and brought out, I kind of I wasn't sure. I fell in love with that first one in terms of you get one that long neck and got the extra shape to her. I uh, didn't want to hardly move off of her, but then when we get and stay in this one, uh, go ahead and do start with. She's just awesome in terms of her presentation, but it it's flexibility. It's mobility is where, where she goes ahead and wins the class. She's awesome at the ground. She comes out of her shoulder in terms of angle back at her knee just a little better. This, this advantage of size and, and, and gestation of where she's at. But, but a really, really nice female with plenty of, plenty of shape would maybe give her a little more turn and that's what I like about this one here in second. She's got that upper turn to the top side of her rib, got some shape to her muscle. She's still clean about her condition. I think you've got her just spot on in terms of where she's at. And she's angles are good. Uh, she is uh, laid back in terms, of, I think, angle to her shoulder. Her rear hock is clean jointed and good. It's just, I don't know if she's just a little soft footed or what. She just isn't comfortable enough for me to allow her to win the class just in terms of just uh, just getting out here and moving. Uh, but that's a very high quality pair that's a very elite type heifer in her own right. Heifer in third, fits right, at it, right in the line. She's a green uh, condition type female. She's deep sided, long square about her hip. Those are the things I know. But where she's deficient, I'd like to see her better in terms of her fore rib, the way she transitioned from her shoulder to her fore rib. Maybe refine her teats just a little bit. But again, you did a good job of bringing me a nice looking one that's presented out here in, in the third spot. This is a big bodied heifer. She looks really good standing there. She's got some proportion to her neck. It's not the longest in the world. She, she's good as anything we've had today for. I think that's promotion and keep everything together quite good enough and just her balance when we make her go. She gets a little tight in her top. But again, nice effort, really good, good, good class of females. Results in the class nine of Charlay Breeding Heifers. Congratulations to your class winner, Camden Filippo from Rush Springs, FFA, followed by Megan Hill, Latta, FFA. Third place, Carly Dismukes, McIntosh County 4 H. And your fourth, Riley Atkinson from Sulphur. We'll now move to class 10 and a single entry, class 10 of Congratulations, these is the Andy over here to Charlotte Shut to Oklahoma Youth Expo. He brings him a very nice heifer, and she's got a good look to her. She's very feminine. Uh, you know, one that's still good in her angles, does really well. She's going to make a very nice cow going to be a good cow prospect. So I told him, though, I said, boy, the water's going to get deep. So when you come back out here, you better paddle pretty high because it's going to be an impressive set of charlets as we get out here. So give him a hand as he heads out of here, and he's going to be honored to come back out here in this awesome lineup. Congratulations to Lane Nichols from Sealing FFA, your class 10 winner. Just like the judge mentioned, we are going to have all of our class winners to come back in here and show for your champion and reserve champion, Charlay Breeding Heifers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to
class winners are making their way into show ring number one. Your class one winner is in the pool. Class two, Camden Filippo. Class three winner, Kalen Groves. Your class four, Blakely Stelzer. Class five, Claire Cunningham. Class six winner, Kylan Oaks. Your winner of class seven, Chris Richard. Class eight winner, Remy Yoko. And class nine winner, Camden Filippo. And class ten, Lane Nichols. Showing for, for, for champion, and as is the champion, Charlotte Beating Ever.
here and uh, you draw your attention here to your Charlet division and my goodness it's been uh, it, it's extremely high quality out here to go and I was having a blast going through all these classes as you get down there and you start at the far end I'm not talking them all but uh, you, know, you got father, fired up in terms of quality just keep coming at you and going good so you, know, you put it back in perspective of you know just where we're at and we go through those generations and you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't say I had a team mind at Oklahoma State. His dad, uh, Dwayne Jeffrey, passed away this week, and he's a Charlet breeder. And some of you, I don't know if you do know, but he's a diehard Oklahoma State guy. You know, he'd have bred a Charlet female by the name of JoJo here uh, years ago that had some success. So, you know, you just you, you think of what he's done and how he's impacted this breed and how we go forward, and that kind of brings... You know, not to uh, minimize that, but it brings forward to what we try to do. We try to, you know, pass on what we're trying to do through through the promotion of these young people and bringing quality and cattle out. These young people, you need to know you represent more than just yourself. I know it's about you, but there's a lot of breeders that put heart and soul into these animals to get out here. Uh, you know, it's just awesome. The quality is, is impeccable. It's good as I walk back and down through this line. You know, we've got to make sure we get the best ones uh, out here to your final lineup. So if you don't know uh, as I go out, I'm a cow guy every day. Proud to be a cow guy. And as I go down through here, I'm going to get the best, uh, I think, cow prospect that we can find in this, this lineup of white ones. So if you want to go ahead and give these guys a sincere uh, hand, this has been an outstanding set of white ones. Congratulations there to your champion Charlet, kind of class number nine, Camden Filippo from Rush Springs, FFA. And right there, coming out of Class 8, will be your reserve champion, exhibited by Ramey Yukon. Over on the sheep side.
division. We still got a young man that had uh, congratulations. Not only that, heifer uh, champion. She's a bred known as well. That's pretty impressive. You're doing a really good job as a white when he brings us a very nice announcer. You know, we got down through here. This lineup's been uh, really good. And I'll tell you that uh, the one that got me extremely fired up at Huff Class, I thought, boy, we was really going to be set the whole day. The deep water kept coming. This year's got a very nice heifer. Congratulations. Kaylin Groves will be your reserve. Congratulations, Kaylin Groves. If you put your hands together, congratulate these on the outside of the Uh, the Charlay breeding heifers, percentage Charlay heifers making their way into the show ring, class number one. The Teffers, uh, you know, as you just leave uh, such a good division, and then we come back in a nice pair. I tell you, these things have got some good. And use a young man's effort to go in and win. Uh, with this, as we talked about before, she's shapely, she's well balanced, still sound, and good about her angles. I'd probably square up just a little bit there from hooks to pins, and I think this one here in second probably does. Your heifer in second is, 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 is has a little more extension, length of body. She's flat about her shoulder. I need more midsection. Need a little bit more rear ribbon and flank. I think if she comes, as you get her closer to the yearling as a bred heifer, her flank in, she'll go ahead and move right up. There's not a lot of spread between those two. Nice pair. Congratulations. Congratulations to Hudson Eaton from the Manhara FFA, exhibiting your first place in Class 1, and followed by Tim Nichols from the Sealy FFA.
Very nice one to go ahead and uh, go ahead and win it. She's well presented. She's got a really good look. She's a big, powerful heifer that's got some openness up to her top, a little turn to her rib. Still good in terms of her body. I think, uh, you know, I think she does some things really well. Young lady gets her set up pretty good. I'd just like to give her just a little more dimension to her. To her. She's a little shorter toed there, kind of how she goes. But uh, she got some shape. She has some quality. Uh, good heifer to go ahead and start with. Nice neck one comes out here in second. She's got some entity. I really like the way she blends from her shoulder to her full rib. She's good in terms of that rear rib and flank, good in terms of her angles. Uh, and a lot of those things you're saying, it's like, hey, you know, why is she not, uh, you know, it was she was a competitive choice too there, but not in as much of her. She's just a little more moderate. And that, that one I started with was very bold and body or power, but I like this one's attractiveness. I think she's got a lot of good. Young Mandy did a nice job presenting this heifer. She's got a nice neck. She's long and square. When we look at her, uh, she could be a little more laid back in her knee from a structure standpoint and just a little bit more condition her body to compete with those two. But you did a nice job in a very competitive class here in the Charlotte Composites. Your class two winner, congratulations to Kaya Briley from Warner 4-H, followed by Jackson Staggs from Purcell, and third, Kingston Myers from Stevens County. We'll move right into our class three of percentage Charlet breeding heifers.
as we get over here in this Charlotte composite. And we've got two very nice heifers, but this young lady here brings us a really high quality one. Uh, it's got a look, really, really good look. You can tell she's extremely good in terms of a caretaker. Uh, this one is just fresh in terms of her hair and just, just really throw together really well. Uh, this one's impeccable and just in terms of her balance and function, she's really good in terms of her angles. You know, there's times she gets going, I'd like to maybe see her relax a little bit and keep her spine uh, in her well, but that's a minor, uh, minor description we talk about for a high quality heifer. Uh, that's sure fun to look at. Young lady does a very nice job of showing. Heifer here in second is a stout, powerful heifer. She's probably just a little bit, uh, you know, my country, a little extra big back and top like a market heifer. I'd like to smooth her up in terms of her shoulder just a little uh, and give her a little more flexibility in terms of angle to her hind leg. But again, nice pair, good class of composite heifers. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Congratulations to your class three winner, Bria Herndon from Kiefer 4-H, followed by Brantley Buller from the Timberlake FFA. We welcome class four uh, percentage Charlet heifers making their way into show ring number one. In our second class, uh, Hampshire breeding.
And a simple pleasure you get as a show judge is, is watching the faces of somebody light up when they, they could achieve something they're wanting to achieve. And, and it is a big deal to win your class here at uh, this level of show. She was excited. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't know where she'd be surprised with because uh, the coaches in the back must have told her she better go good to do well. But this is a nice heifer that I like the way it ties into. She's just natural in terms of her build. Uh, she's good up at the front end. She's up in her chest floor, maintains that well to her rear rib and flank. She's got some shape to her. She's still good at the ground in terms of feet and movement. I would change her hip, would change her tail head, some of the things we talked about within this breed. But that's a good place to start. Really good cowie one. Maybe a little plain for some of you to look at, but boy, you get center body with that much depth and dimension and still tight in about her shoulder. Uh, you're not going to talk me out of those kind of cattle all day long. You're always be, uh, you always be in the middle of the road. they got to pass you both ways depending on what direction they want to take the cattle. Uh, from a trip point, that's just good, good, basic, good cattle. This heifer here, third, I like her. She's kind of tricked out a little bit in terms of she's way pronounced in terms of the way her neck comes up out of her shoulders. She's bold in her rib. For me, it gets back there if you're listening. Four rib, tail head, hawk, come my hot button. She's good in her four rib, but she's got some tail head. Got to change her in terms of her rear hawk for me to go ahead and move her up a little higher. But she's got some very unique breeding pieces that I think you could sure take home and, and do some really neat things with. Really low maintenance, easy doing one here. She's bold bodied. She's got some balance. Uh, you know, she's probably a little more moderate size in terms of length of forehand and kind of run, run down, you know, just a little bit. But for me, maybe get a little, 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 little bit of her tail head. I could view her uh, maybe, maybe a spot. I don't know if I'd get any more higher than that uh, to, to, to be comfortable in my mind. Heifer, they're coming out next, a bigger, little, long mod. I did one of those to this a little higher for percentage. She doesn't look like the rest of them here in terms of length body. Need to fit together a bit better behind her. Shoulders, uh, stouts will come in here next. Just a structure and balance is where we just come up with short with her. So, again, I'm classy to hear you come from Brazil. Congratulations to your class four winner, Abigail Jones from the Altus FFA. Followed by Keller Oaks from Rapaho Butler 4-H. In third, Kyler Marshall from Raiden FFA. Fourth, Claire Harton Medill. Fifth, Shayla Dismukes from Kentucky County 4-H. And sixth, A.J. Chaney from Wasso FFA. To a class five of your percentage, Charlotte Reading Heifers into show ring number one.
you over there with her class with her. Uh, you was having fun till we made you wait over here for just a little bit. She did not want to, and she's ready to go out, and I understand that, but, uh, you know, that's a really good half to go ahead and start this class with. She's got a really good look to her. She's got her presence. She has a softness. She has that structure of the gram. She has an advantage of back at the knee versus the heifer in a second. Her, her structure just allows her. And it would probably change her... You know, where the other size and development, I'm not really proud of her peak, peak size and placement at this stage of the game, but I do like her from a softness and quality standpoint. The one in second, her body composition sure gets you, gets you excited in terms of she's good and better. Her neck, she's really uh, got demand to be a shape to her muscle. I mean, we got a really relaxer and a relaxer from a structure standpoint for her to go to be a little more competitive in Spot up there. Next step, a little neck. I like her condition so good in terms of her body. We put her in motion and then she becomes too upright in her shoulder. Uh, and main her top as well. And we make her go. The gray and white one is, uh, is a long front of heavy muscle to have just more condition to give her somebody to be more competitive. The beginning of the next class here in the Class 5 winner, Chase Dow from Canton FFA, followed by Shayla Dismukes from McIntosh County Forge, third, Josie Chandler, and fourth, Briley Clark for the Cash FFA. We'll move right to Class 6, uh, percentage Simmental, or percentage Charlais, single entry. In the third class, uh I don't know over here we've got a single entry, but uh, one that uh, sure lights up the excitement when you get in here and bring her in and look at her. Just, uh, you know, her color may be a little deceiving, but she's, she's good about her femininity. She's bold and awesome in terms of uh, the capacity she gives you. Pretty good in her hind leg. Nice single entry. We'll probably talk about her again as we get out here in the other lineup, but nice job, young man. Bring us a good heifer. Congratulations to Class 6 winner Hudson Eaton from the Hera FFA.
Would you draw your attention over here to this side on your composite division? Uh, these two young ladies, and I'm going to talk these as a pair, there's a little bit of difference, in, uh, but I think they're both extremely high quality, they got a lot of good, lot to offer. Uh, if you can't get it, uh, well, when you see one uh, with the build this young lady has to win the class, just don't know, uh, I don't know if me and will ever get along, because this one just gives you such a look of presence. Uh, so captivating in terms of her body, her squareness, her angles. Yet she's still fresh in terms of her condition in this eyes. My compliments to this young lady and her family for doing a good job of uh, getting one A1 ready. Uh, does a good job to show it fun to look at. Young lady, I know we talked about that heifer and how good she is, and I could jump right back in here and talk about some things. She's not as extra in terms of a long front as the one behind her, but boy, you talk about squareness to her, top squareness to a hip, uttered right in there and got some good angles. You've got her haired up and she's clipped and presented well. I think equally that's just as outstanding of a sharp composite heifer we could look and talk about. So my compliments to you. That's a very, very, very nice pair. Over in the Hampshire side. Here in the class, congratulations to your class seven winner, Ella Weldon. We'll say Abraham Kingfisher for a. We're now going to show your champion and reserve champion, Brittany Charlotte Reedy Ever. Our class winners are making their way into show ring number one. Your class winners making their way into the show ring. Class one winner, Hudson Eaton. Class two, Kaya Briley. Class three, Bria Herndon. Your class four winner, Abigail Jones. Class five, Chase Dow. Class Hudson Eaton. And your class seven, Ella. Showing for champion reserve champion, percentage Charlet, breeding heifer. Get over here to your shark and Mazda, and I tell you that uh, you know the Charlays was an awesome division, and we had an awesome top end. And our top end in this uh, division is really well, as it's just the same. And I know we're going to pick three of them out here, and they're just fun to look at. But uh, go right down and just talk about them. You know, them first, them first few that we come out were really nice heifers, and then we get that heifer, that gold one there in the third class. Just talk about her. I love her proportion. I like her balance. 
Uh, just like everything about how she's put together, I think it's just a super nice heifer. Gives up some maturity to some of these bigger heifers out here, but I just want to make sure that we know that she's got the quality to look and talk about. Yeah, they were so excited to win her class, and she's out here competing really hard. That's a good heifer. She's soft body. You know, we get her in this group. We try to change her hip just a little bit, widen her hock out a little bit when she goes. Then we get into just a really nice one, the young man in here. It just wins this class. She's soft structure. She's big bodied. She's still, still got, got balance. Uh, you know, she just uh, one of those things that we're looking for in terms of a female. You know, she's very, very nice, high quality. Single entry young man in that heifer. Still strikes me well. She's uh, massive in terms of the body. Still within and about her shoulder, good in her angles. And just uh, if you change your color, you get that color making those things. Makes me just a little bit nervous. Not that she isn't, but that's just a true straight minute cow guy that tries to make a few of those things. Then we get to these two big heifers. Young lady does a nice job of showing. She brings us just really, really uh, spectacular for, for, for sure. Fun to look at. So folks, put your hands together. We'll pick three. It'll be an impressive group. Well, very good, Hampshire. Sure.
It's a really good job. I'm here to get positive again. Uh, my compliments to these brand new exhibitors. I think it's important. So put your hands together. I'm going On show rate number one, your champion for Senate Charlotte Green Heber, presented by Ella Weldon, in reserve, Sage Hanrahan. The bronze, Hudson Eaton, on the bread and own champion, congratulations to Chase Dow, in reserve, Jackson Stagg. That will wrap up the percentage Charlet Breeding Heifer Show. We'll move right into the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers. There's 88 Shorthorn Breeding Heifers.
As we move over, move over here at a new division on your heifer side, and we're moving into our uh, purebred shorthorn division. We got uh, some of these summer born heifers as they come out here. Young lady, go ahead and pull your heifer on around here. That, that uh, you know, pretty easily within this trio of cattle to be the be a winner. She's got some flexibility when we ask her to go. She's got some width and power as you just stand in there behind him. And from the side, she balances up as, as well as any of them in the lineup. Now, if we would, ideally, a little more depth to the, the, the part of the uh, body, I'm going to go ahead and start with. Heifer, I think I can her the thing is the top and get a shape to her. But when we put her in the mood, it doesn't get up there in terms of the structural correctness in her front end. She's too far forward in the angle to her shoulder. She wants to push, push her shoulder forward. That throws her a lot of balance. Young heifer here, the third young lady did a nice job. Hang on, I'm sure proud of her for what she did there. She got a very feminine headed, flat shouldered one. She just needs more condition, a little more days on feed for her to fill up and catch up. But again, nice female. Uh, nice way to get started here. And I'm sure it'll be an outstanding division here in your short orange ship. First class of short breeding heifers are placing your class center. Congratulations to Leah Hudson, followed by Lexi Lane from the Grove FFA. In third place, Aaron Allgood from, from McLean County 4-H. We'll be right into class number two of your shorthorn breeding heifers. Short old show. I think we've got a good logical heifer to start with. One that uh, you know, just has a good feminine look, gives us that look of quality, and you know, when you break her down, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the best combination of those, at least amount of false to go there. Uh, from the side, she gives us a good, good look. She's low from her forward hip, the rear flank, square out her hip. And I thought probably the best we put her in a motion. So could it be a little terms of but a very nice effort to get her in the start with. second, I like her length of the front end. She's also the opposite part of her hip. I like that about her. Uh, when we get it on her, I'd like to just transition her better from her shoulder to her fore rib. And she gets just a little bit awkward in terms of her rear hawk for me. I'd like to change that for just 
just a bill standpoint. Oh, you sure like the, the way she gets out of her front and the length she has her front. Uh, the dark red, red, red heifer, she's soft bodied, big haired one. Uh, got some width and thickness to her. Uh, it's her structure on her hind leg. I just like to change the way she gets out and goes. She does look attractive on the move as the two right ahead of her. But again, nice class here in your short horn show. As we uh, get to Bring number one, your class two results in the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers. Congratulations to Brooklyn Bailey from the Hydro Eakley 4-H with your class winner, followed by Talia Ferguson from Burden, and third, Mackenzie Sullivan from Bethel FFA. Well, over the sheep ring, we're going
Folks, we're bringing, uh, bringing some quality out here in this uh, purebred short order division here. Really a good class. We get down through and talk about them. You sure, uh, sure like, but there's no doubt uh, you think it's a part to go into the class, and my mind uh, is just really well presented for the win. She's a uh, Beautiful in terms of her pattern, just as you'd say with this breed. She's still maternal in terms of having some femininity, some body shape, some trueness to her rear rib and flank. She still sounded correct when she gets out and goes. Just a very heifer. Uh, may give up a little bit in terms of muscle to the one, and I think she's got a little bit more shape to her. This one's not as fine-tuned in presentation as the heifer in front of her or behind her. But I think just looking at the basics of the natural shape she has to the upper part of the muscularity she has, I think she's just truer in terms of her body shape and kind for me to go ahead and, uh, and like where she's at. The one here in third, that's a beautiful pattern heifer that's got some things you like about her. You love her center body. She's clipped well. She gives you that look of balance and kind. When I put her in motion, it starts and stops there in her rear hock. She gets a little too elevated or too upright, I should say, where she just doesn't get out and move it quite free enough. If she goes ahead and lets her go, we can kind of see that. One that didn't just want to show uh, real good, but we're going to have to change her just the way she comes off those hind two. Same with this one. Probably could be just a little better in terms of her rear hawk, but boy, just practicality and complete. She sure does some things, you know, really well. She blends and transitions good. I like that about her. Heifer coming out, you know, a big, long-fronted, long-bodied heifer that's got some length of hip. She kind of loses her flank a little bit when we ask her to go. She just maybe a little bit. We would just stop off the remember some action a little bit if we could. Our color is in there like her. She just a little bit more up in her top. And as we get down the heifers, we just give up a little bit of the quality and kind. They're still well presented heifers that have a lot of good to them, but we just need to change it from a balance. We'll go ahead and move them up any higher. Your class three shorthorn breeding heifers, your class winner, Ab Abilene Sullivan from the Lawton 4-H, followed by Kimberly Holland from Tecumseh. In third, Micah Brumley, Rush Springs. Fourth place, Kendra Dillingham from Drummond. Fifth, Reagan Bowles from Verdon. Sixth place, James Edlin from Rock Creek 4-H. Seventh, Cord Campbell, Al County 4-H, and 8th, Ava White, Chandler FFA, and 9th, Ashlyn Boggs, Boggs from Guthrie FFA. Now for your first division champion and reserve champion, division number one in the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers. As our judge, Barry Carlisle, works on his grand drive here with I'll just go real quick here. I've got a division. We've got a uh, nice nine, 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 I think I've got a pair that's going to be badass. I think I've got a need to go ahead and win. win, win and I'm going to a couple right behind her reserves. So, congratulations. Congratulations to Abilene Sullivan and Kimberly Hall. They'll be your champion reserve champion division one winners. As we uh, kind of
for your pre-show ride. Uh, kind of had to work for it here just a little bit. Uh, we have to talk about college football. We got parity in this this class. There's not a lot of spread for, for, from first to, to to the end in terms of where you want the line one up. You know, some things just happened that I started with, and the reason I didn't go ahead and pull it right off the gig, I don't have enough to her. I'm still not sure if there is enough to her from a muscle and a whisk standpoint, but as we go back out here, she then becomes still the nicest balance from the side, the best in terms of structure, still has some look. So I think she just then becomes a logical place for me to go ahead and start to class with. Uh, again. The one here in second, she's not as highly presented as some of the cattle we've seen here today, uh, but I think she's just true in terms of her rib shape. She's wide in terms of her pins. Uh, she gets out and probably goes a little better than you think you ought to when you get her from the side. So if I tweak her a little bit, I think she comes a little bit wide at the base of her shoulder, and, and maybe I think just as much fit, and I'd like to clean her hock up a little bit. But you watch her go, I like her squared, so I think she's just true in terms of the in kind. The heifer here that I thought maybe we just left up there, uh, I like the upper shape to her top. She's really, really long about her hip. Got some quarter to her, so some, she becomes a little too straight, straight up, up, up in her front. A little more rib shape, but, but I like her smoothness, her length of body. Uh, she does some things to a really high degree. This heifer here is one that probably gives me as much uh, challenge to, to go ahead and sort because she can stand there. She is clean about her neck. She's the biggest in terms of center body rib shape of any in the class. She's got the size advantage, but just the way she comes out of and kind of waddles out of her hip just doesn't set well with me enough for her to go ahead and win the class. But a very nice heifer in her own right with some things that she has and things you can do with her. This heifer here here again, it was sharp in terms of her hock, a little shorter and rounder about her hip. Front two thirds, I think, is one that probably could talk about being moved up a spot or two, but her hip becomes her limiting factor. The next two heifers there, I just think we need a little more body, a little more balance, a little more correctness for them to move up again. Nice class here in your shorthorn division. Our reserve grand purebred U was exhibited by Cade Charmerson from Hennessy, the reserve champion, Hampshire. Congratulations, Cade. Scenes for class six of your shorthorn breeding heifers. Congratulations to the class winner, Nightland Tony from Lexington 4-H, followed by Riley Crosswhite from Kingfisher in third, Rayleigh Atkins from Laverne. Fourth place, John Barker from Luther. Your fifth place, Addison Dick from Oklahoma Union 4-H. Sixth place, Ashton Gamble from Celine FFA. And seventh place, Kinsley Howard from Ninicaw FFA. We now have class seven of Shorthorn Breeders in the show ring number one.
get that out here. This a little easier handle for me to grab a hold to go ahead and start with. Impeccably presented, high quality heifer. Young lady does a good job of show her. She just got that that look of quality and balance that you look about, and you need to just start right there at the front, the way she's just blending in her shoulder. She transitioned so good into her four ribs, some shape, some rib ribbon, ribbon. Uh, she's still fresh about her condition. Uh, just a very nice heifer there to go ahead and start with. We've got a bigger outline, the one that comes out here, and you know, and I've been talking about she is so long-bodied, but she is really long-hipped, and I think that's a good thing about her. You can talk about her extra growth. With that extra frame, though, she just didn't have the body or rib shape to go ahead and compete with the one right ahead of her, but I think one that's still still got some, some quality to her, and I think she's a little nicer down her top out there through the part of her hip uh, than is this heifer coming out here next. She's probably uh, fuller in terms of fore rib and in the, in the mid mid section of her rib. She tapers a little to her flank and needs to drop her hock to the ground just a little bit with a little bit more authority, but a nice kind of female. Here's a moderate one that gives up some weight, but she's she's made nice. Uh, she's just like to see more for her to go compete a little bit higher. The white heifer, uh, we talk about her hawk. We'd like to change it. We'd like to change it to that balance so that we're coming around there from a quality standpoint. So again, a nice class here in your purebred short horn division. Congratulations. Class 7 winner, Bailey Wessels from Garber FA. Followed by Krista Canada from Adair FFA. Third place, Dason Cash, Watonga. Fourth, Abby Enders from Akarchi 4-H. Fifth place, Emma Turnpaw from Lexington. And sixth place, Georgia Rose from Rabho Butler FFA. We'll now show for champion, reserve champion, Division Two. In your short horn, we got our second division, and I think if you've been following along and listen to what we talk about, and you're the one that first class is beautiful in terms of her pattern, and you know we get her out here and and took a little bit to get her. Didn't know if there's enough to her, but boy, she's the right one to have out here within that class. Of uh, the look she gives us, then this white, uh, predominantly white heifer comes out next class. She's horribly defined. She's big time in terms of the way she's presented. She's got a really good look. She's got a show heifer appeal and yet still look to her. So she's really, really easy for me to find a young lady. Congratulations, you'll be our division winner. We're going to follow up with the young heifer to be reserved. Congratulations to Bailey Wessel from Garber FFA. She'll be your division two winner. And your reserve, Nightland Tony from Lexington 4-H.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together. These exhibits. in this class here in our short order division uh, you know kind of a little more challenging to go ahead and put together as, as we get in there uh, you know the heifer that I just choose to start with I think just uh, has from just a size standpoint obviously I'd change her rear hawk but I think just the extra power she has for this breed at this age I think I think it's an advantage uh, to, to be the size where she she gets to be uh, that means there's just more to her she opens up behind her shoulder with a little more turn and shape to her, a little more body to her. Really nice heifer there in second. That's very feminine, uh, but one we just got to open her up and, and give her a little bit more dimension uh, from a muscle and width stand from there. The heifer in third is is one she gets set up here, gives me a nice look, but at times she gets uh, a little more upright in her shoulder, a little more rounded out there near her hip, but I didn't know if she had near enough flank to kind of go with her body. But very nice heifer. That was a challenging class to go ahead there, but again, uh, that's just because they're nice and have, have similarities are very close to one another. To your class 10 shorthorn breeding heifer winner, Mackenzie Sullivan from the Bethel FFA, followed by, followed by Andrew Sproul from Fairview, and third place, Bentley Bald to love to 4-H. We now have class 11. Class 11 of the short horn reading heifers in the show ring.
nice class as we kick in advantages and As we get over here, and you can sure draw your attention to a really high quality heifer to go ahead and win this uh, win this class. And, you know, any adjective you want to say in terms of her being the best one, it's going to be applicable. Uh, she's big body. I like her extra shape. I like her quality look. Young man does a good job of showing her, but she's presented really well. Go ahead and move her on out there. That's a good heifer. We'll talk some more about her. And I thought there were some differences between second and third. The one in second, I thought she's a big topped one. She's got some shape to her. Uh, I'd like to give her more extension, a little bit more length, but I thought her proportions were nice. Uh, clean about her front end, I thought she was better in terms of her structure than the heifer that comes out third. The heifer in third's probably got a little more length of body than the one right ahead of her. She's still big top, square hipped, uh, very, very nice heifer. We just got to soften her structure on both ends to go ahead and compete any higher. But again, nice class again here in your short horn drive. In the first class of the Dorset
here in ring number one on the cattle side. Congratulations to your class 11 winner in shorthorn breeding heifers, Jay Parker from Lone Grove 4-H, followed by Kendra Dillingham from Drummond, and third, Landon Dobbs from the Oil FFA. We're now showing for our third division champion reserve champion. As we bring apart here to the Short Orange Show, and there's no doubt that uh, each one of our division winners has been special within the Short Orange Show, and there's no exception here with the one that's going to win this division. She's going to be, she's a really a special heifer in her own right. Young man right here, congratulations. Come on over here. We'll get you a nice job. Yeah. Congratulations there to Jay Parker with your division three champion. And your reserve will go to Mackenzie Sullivan out of Class 10. Congratulations to both those exhibitors. Right along to our next class of shorthorn breeding heifers. So
as we get uh, again this class here in your purebred shorthorns. Uh, you know, a very nice heifer to go ahead and start with. I think she's one that's still uh, dimensional, uh, extremely well balanced, good in terms of her midsection, good looking heifer. But I think just becomes a logical place to go ahead and start within this class. She's just a combination of those things that we've been looking for and talking about and still got a really nice nice look to her. So uh, maybe we'd stouten her up just a little bit at the ground, but I'll tell you, that's still a very, very nice heifer. It's a little more moderate, but he's the next best heifer in terms of quality and kind. She still blends and transitions well when we talk about her from her shoulder to her four ribs. She's big hip, big bone, good body. We make her a little bigger, we're going to make her a little more competitive, but that's a very nice sever that most logically fits for her opinion to be right there in that second hole. We've got a good good size, big frame extent. Comes out here in third. I like her in terms of her upper skeleton. It gets better to, in terms of her flank is where I probably pick on her and not maybe just having enough there for her to go ahead and move. Uh, you know, definitely I don't think she's ready to contend with our class winner. You may move her up a spot. Probably wouldn't argue it there. I just would like to see her a little better in flank and hawk. Then we have another three heifers that are very similar in terms of we're going to change it from a balance and structure. This heifer I thought was just a thick hip. I pinned one when you get behind her and still, still solid in terms of the way she sits down in terms of her feet and legs. Needs a little bit more flank. Next heifer gets a little more upright on both ends, just the same as the other one. We're going to change her from a structure standpoint for them to go ahead and move up any higher. But again, nice class here in your Pure Print Short Run Show. Congratulations to your class winner and the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers, class 14, Caden Bellows from the Toka County 4-H, followed by Stanton Hooper from Cotton County, third, Allie Phillips from Omaha, Orlando, fourth place, Ava Slider from Tupelo, FFA, fifth, Lily Wish from Stonewall, sixth, Riley Gibson from McLean County.
had a uh, shorter line, so I think there's a heifer to go ahead and start with, and she just has presence. Uh, her neck comes up out of her shoulder and then puts it puts me up there and giving them that real good uh, feminine look that we we sure would like to see in, in those things. She's got some length of body to her, although she is clean about her joints, really set down square about her toes as you look at her on the ground. Then you'd probably change her a little bit in terms of down her top, give her a little bit more more shape and width up there high, but I think her angles of her structure, her femininity, so her to go ahead and win the class. The next half right behind, she's flat about her shoulder, she's deep in terms of her side. Gotta give her more dimension, a little more shape. She is a little too flat in terms of her fore rib and, her, and into there and her, her, her hind quarter, down there into her hip, but uh, just a nice pattern female. Then a thicker, stouter one come next. I thought just a little, a little tighter in terms of her structure. A little bit shorter face. I'd like to free her up. But I do like her muscularity and power. Uh, she does give us the next dark red. A smoother shoulder, really long about her side. Just need a softer structure. Uh, allow her to get out and take a little more freer stride as she gets out there and goes. Congratulations to Brooklyn Frazier from Meeker FFA. She's your class 15 winner in the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers, followed by Judd Davis from Empire. Third, Sunny Shore from Garber FFA. And fourth place, Peyton Ramsey from the Jones FFA. Now I'll show up for fourth division champion and reserve champion, Shorthorn Breeding Heifer. Here again, uh, you know, just saying the same things over and over again. The doors because we're here we've got, uh, you know, one that suits me the best in terms of division winner. But it's going to really be fun when you bring those things back out here, because we keep bringing in uh, really top end heifer out here in each one of these divisions. It's got a nice pair, but this one's body, her muscle shape, and, 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 and her extra proportions. I uh, just think just, just, the best. It's a very nice half. Congratulations, she's champion in this. Division. Congratulations to Kaden Bellows from Atoka County 4-H to be Division 4 champion. And your reserve will come out to Class 15, Brooklyn Frazier. Congratulations to her.
Hammer here over in uh, Short Order and Heifer class. This trio of heifers are very, uh, very, very tough, very close, and had some challenging things to to come up with. And I don't know if there's just the most logical place to to go ahead and fit them together. But to me, the most comfortable spot I can get to is is I can just migrate like I do every time when you get to a big cow. I one and where she wins the class in terms of flexibility. She's the most natural, laid back in the angle to her shoulders. She's the best in utilization of her hind leg, hock to ground, when she goes out and flexes. She's got plenty of body, almost a little too much for me, because one of the spots we talk about, I'd like to probably transition her, especially at her forward, fore rib, lower fore a little bit better to, to be near ideal. But I think just flexibility and just broodiness is where we go ahead and, and line those up. The one here in second, I'm telling you, this one here is just dialed in. They've got her hair. Your hair quality is awesome. She's presented really well. Uh, you've got her put together as good as I think you can put together. Seeing in there, I think she looks good. But when we get and go, for this size and maturity, she needs more body. She just doesn't have enough rear rib and flank. I don't know if she's far enough along in gestation to have enough of that body. And when we go, her hind leg is fit so well, but I think there's times that it, she could probably be a little more flexible on her hind leg when she goes. I think she puts it down just a little bit a uh, little bit strong. And that's the same thing I'll say here to the one and third. And I think she becomes third in terms of her hock and her front knee. We just got to relax her in those areas and back her up because she has more body than, than does the one right there ahead of her. But she's, she's not maybe just a smooth look at her just uh, – Front row here, but I like her body. That's a good heifer. Just a competitive class of three very nice ones. Congratulations to your class 18 winner over here in the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers, Lexi Lane. Congratulations to her, followed by Olivia Gillette, and third, Taya Wyatt. In her second class.
Excellent class to judge here on your short horn side. Uh, you know, it makes you kind of work and go through, and as you break them apart, it just uh, it's just fun sailing from my standpoint, standing out here in the middle. Young lady, this heifer is very nice. She's easy for me to find. She's a little more moderate size, but I think she's plenty big enough at this age, but she's good in terms of her body. I like the length to her front end. You and your crew did a great job of getting her fit up and presented. She's a heifer. Uh, that I've been looking for in a very nice addition now. Not the most powerful one. We'd maybe give her a little bit more quarter, and I think, young man, that's where your heifer probably has that advantage. She's a little bit bigger, stouter heifer. She's got more to get in behind her. She carries that width behind her, I think, really well. She's bold in terms of her rib. She's not as dead fast as her, as her heifer that I chose to start with. It's a little bit longer front end, but I like the broodiness and power that this heifer gives me a uh, nice look. The young lady here, but out here next. I think this is a very feminine headed, headed never She's laid in good on her shoulder. She's still so good about her body. She wants to get her outside herself a little bit in terms of her skeleton. When she goes, I'd like to see her, her, her collect herself from, uh, from behind just a little bit better. But we're getting into them big bread cattle. She's bold and robust as you get it right in there behind her. Her here at the fourth gives you a good, a good outline. Uh, she's she's flat about her, 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 her shoulder. In, 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 in terms of her, uh, she gives you an outline break part. I'd like to refine her head a little bit. She's a little bit more masculine in terms of her head, and she's a little bit more in terms of her tail. If we change her in those two areas a little bit, I think you'd go ahead and make her a little more competitive in my mind. Another heifer as we get in this drive, she's a stout bone, big hip, bold, powerful one. Needs to be sounder off her hind two legs to go ahead and move up any higher. And then we kind of get into like four heifers here that just need a little bit more muscle, need a little bit balance, and we just change them from a structure standpoint. But again, real nice class, good to work through here in your purebred shorthorn division. Nice class.
short order enthusiast there behind me. I tell you, we've been having a good show here again, and I talk about these divisions. This division, comparatively to the other one, we had is probably a little bit, uh, you know, closer in terms of making up a decision. You know, we've got the big body sound one. You know, that was so flexible. I liked in that very tough trio of classes and had a nice, well-presented one there behind her. You know, as we get out here, she's very flexible, and I still... You know, as I talk about my hot buttons, four rib, tail head, hawk, she's awesome in her hawk, probably could change her a little bit in her four rib, um, high capacity, good quality kind of heifer. Heifer out of that next class, you know, she's very long in, in terms of her front end, she's balanced well. She's a little more modern in terms of her size for this age, plenty big enough for me for what she could do. She's proportional she's up there in her front end. She's fresh in terms of her shaking condition. Go through after we've talked about ones of quality and I talk four rib, tail head, hawk. She's the best in the area, so that means your congratulations. Congratulations over here to your division five. Coming out of that class 19, Abilene Sullivan from the Lawton 4-H. And your reserve division will be Lexi Lane from Grove FFA coming out of class 18. Some other placings out of class 19, Abilene, Abilene Sullivan. Second place was Dason Cash from Watonga FFA. Third, Kelby Worthington from El Reno. Fourth, fourth Destiny White, Egg FFA. Fifth, Helen Spears for Tecumseh FFA. Evan Hunter from Clinton. Seventh, Emma Hoffman for Canton FFA. Eighth, Mason Miller. Thomas Faye Guster for 4-H. Kaylee Jo Morris from the Altus FFA. Interesting panel topic.
uh, come right back out. And we continue right in here in an awesome shorthorn show. This purebred heifer here has got a lot of quality to her. I think young lady does a great job of showing her. But she has a very maternal look to her. She's bold and opened up in terms of her ribs. She's long and square about her hip. I like her from her structure. She's one of those ones you talk about. If you want to talk about her adjectives to go ahead and win the class, you could you could do it uh, pretty well. We'll talk about her here as we get back out of her in division. But a very, very nice heifer. Uh, the, the one here in the second, the reason I took your heifer and put her over the other heifer, it's her high leg. I thought she's a little nicer in terms of utilization of her rear uh, her rear hock when she takes off and takes a stride. Now, comparatively to the heifer there in front of you, you need a little bit more dimension, a little bit more width, a little bit more power. But you're a good, smooth-shouldered, nice built kind of female. I think it's going to make a very nice cow for you as you get it out there. The heifer there is a good, is a good. She's very feminine and flat about her shoulder, as you expect within this breed. She's still square from the side, but when I get there and I look and really study, uh, she gets a little too restricted, a little too much set and actually too tight in terms of a rear hock when we ask when we ask her to go I'd like to just uh, free her up from that standpoint but a nice trio here to get it in your shorthorn show Last 22 shorthorn breeding heifers winner, Nightland Tony from Lexington 4H, followed by Foot Realm, Kevin Douglas, and in your third place, Echo White, at the Chandler FA. We now have 23 shorthorn breeding heifers making their way into show class 23.
As we work our way down here in the short horn division, the young lady brings us a very nice effort to go ahead and win in the class, and she's just got the cove of maternal to her. She's got some femininity in her head, the way she blends together. She's starting to utter up well and starting to show. She's closing in on, uh, you know, two years of age where she's going to be ready to do it. Uh, and you tell a lot of calf there mid-second, but she's clean-pointed, good moving, uh, good place to start, very nice heifer. Next heifer, uh, just a little more moderate size compared to the rest of them, but for me, in my opinion, she's big enough in terms of her size and kind. She's got some balance, she's got some proportion to her, still has some stoutness. I'd clean her up and sharpness to her hock and her rear joint. Uh, compared to my class winner, not quite the extension, but a very, very nice heifer. A uh, bigger heifer comes right here behind, uh, not as big as the one behind her, but I like the front two-thirds of her. Uh, she's bold the way she get, ties in tight to the top side of her shoulder, still opens up in her top. I'd like to give her a little more width of pins and keep her base a little truer on her hind legs when we go ahead and ask her to, ask her to lead out, uh, but a nice kind of heifer. The bigger framed heifer, you know, one, a probably just a little greener look for me, and in a little younger divisions, I probably could handle that. Uh, but she looked away from gestation for this age. I'd like to see more calf in terms of her rear rib and flank for her to go ahead and fight her way up a little bit higher. The red heifer is a thick-topped heifer. Uh, she's, she's clean about her in front end. Just got to change her tail head and balance for her to move up any higher. But again, we're continuing in here with a really good class of purebred uh, shorthorn cattle. Congratulations to your class winner, Allison Tillenhass from Owasso FFA, followed by Andrew Triplett from Blanchard, third, Josie Harris from Comanche, fourth, Annabelle Rose from Arapahoe Butler, and fifth, Kenley Ritter from Coil FFA will now show for Division Six champion, third champion. Over in the sheep side are champion. Purebred short order division. You know, again, I talked about that. It's just uh, we're getting closer here to the end. But uh, you know, just as the last division, we've got uh, some, some comparingness to uh, to come up with a champion. The one out of the first class of this uh, division, the Roan one. You know, she's big and bold in terms of a rib. Uh, she's the way she transitions. As you look at her from her shoulder, four ribs. She's really good in terms of her her angles to to her structure. She moves well, maintains her balance, and the move extremely well. We'd maybe change her there and then upper part of her hip. Just the same as the one here in that second class. We'd probably change her in her upper hip, give her a little more quarter. But you sure like her center body, her length to her front end, her extension. She does have. She's a really nice. Uh, but in how we've gone in terms of trying to pick cattle with a little bit more to them, a little bit more dimension, and young, young lady right here, this here in front of me, the Roan Heifer, be champion of this division. Congratulations. Congratulations to Nightland Tony. She'll be your division champion coming out of class 22. And your reserve, Allison Fillinghast from Owasso, out of Class 23. Congratulations.
No, we do have her. Okay. Be a short one. I thought maybe she's walking up here as we get out here, but we've got a division winner, class winner. A young lady has this white heifer. You know, she's long and extended about her front end. She's really long, uh, balances up pretty well. Uh, probably a little fresh in terms of condition for me at this stage, but she's developing well. She's got some spread behind, needs to fill in her udder a little bit, but a very attractive heifer. It's going to fit really well out here in our champion lineup. Congratulations. Give her a hand. Congratulations there to Natalie Space School for FFFA will be your Class 26 winner and also your Division Champion and Division 7 Champion. We'll now bring all our Division winners in to show for your overall Grand Champion Shorthorn Breeding Heifer Reserve Champion and Reserve Champion. Sullivan. Division one winner is Abilene Sullivan. Division two is Bailey Wessels. Division three, Jace Parker. Division four champion, Caden Bellows. Division five, Abilene Sullivan. Your division six champion, Nightland Tony. And Division 7, Natalie Stay School will have a champion, reserve champion, and also a bronze selected for the Shorthorn Breeding Heifers. As we continue right on through here in every division here at uh, at your show here, OYE is is just phenomenal. It's such a fun uh, uh, a venue to be at, and it just stage is so large. And, and these these exhibitors have have tried so hard and done such a good job. It's just uh, it's it's fun to watch them and have them go out here. So. You know, you look at uh, the, this this continental or uh, British breed is is got so much heritage to them and history, and they come out here, and, and these folks still have 
have the thoughts of wanting to come out here and be able to win a division. There's nothing easy about it as they come here. You know, I know a lot of times you tell kids to go ahead and make sure you dream big and, and have a vision, and I think that is important. But sometimes I tell everybody that... Uh, you know, dreams are free. It doesn't cost you anything to have that vision and dreaming about it. If you want to make it on this lineup and, and have that be fulfilled, you've got a lot of effort, dedication, uh, sacrifice to get them out here and get that. And that's what I think is so important as you see these things and, and compete. State of Oklahoma elects competition. You've got it out here. So... Put your hands together in an impressive set of uh, purebred order horns, and I'll pick you a champion. Put your hands together also for the... Congratulations to... Your overall grand champion, Shorthorn Heifer, exhibited by Nightland Tony. And your reserve, Jace Parker. Congratulations to him as well. And all of our Shorthorn exhibitors will have a bronze selected as well. Abilene Sullivan, congratulations, Abilene, on being in the bronze selection. Brandon, the Brandon Owens, and uh, 
you know, this is one thing that you talk about. This could be the most optimistic group of guys. Uh, there's nothing easy about raising them, breeding them, getting them, and presenting them to the show. So I respect you. Try to do that every day in my life, and I think it's great to see. So I think we've got an easy winner out here in the Bread Knowns. I think she's out here in the league by herself. I think she's a high-quality heifer. Give her a nice round of applause. I congratulate her. Congratulations. Congratulations to your reserve, Brett 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 Lexi Lane, and the bronze is Stanton Hooper. Congratulations to both of them and all of our bread known exhibitors. We'll move right to our Shorthorn Heifer, Shorthorn Plus, 81 head of Shorthorn Plus Heifers. Nice top pairs with kick.
Lord over here in short or plus TV. You know, we've seen two very nice. We've got a difference of size and probably a difference of quality. Young man, you're just to start with. Got a really good look to her. She gives us that presence of the quality. Uh, starts out there away. And that comes from her shoulder. She's really, really good in the midsection. Her age and squareness. Uh, gives good effort to go ahead and start, start with. Well, uh, I still think she's fresh and good in terms of her contingency. Long on her front again. You know, I'm not trying to give her a little bit more of a line and square her hip, 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 a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then this pair, but it's still very nice, 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 heavy, 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 heavy,
an interesting class here and your plus to go ahead and sort with and uh, you'd have her go ahead and start with I think she does so just in terms of boldness her ribs still some balance she's tied up the top side of her shoulder where she still opens up with some upper shape to her rib you know for me I just change her tail head just a little bit to drop her down and soften her structure just a little bit the black heifer is what you kind of wanted to go ahead and start with from a practicality standpoint <coughs> She covers the basics extremely well. She's good in her midsection, smooth where she's put together. A little more moderate compared to the rest of men here, and probably a little too refined in terms of bone. To be comfortable, to start with. I sure like her hind cow. I like her practicality. This effort is just a few days away from going ahead and winning the class. She's beautiful up in there in her front end. She's got that presence and, and just great feminine look to her. She's really long body, but we had a call. If she had enough body, she'd have won the class. So I didn't think she had enough today. That's where she come up short. We just had to give her more section. As she gets there, she has the basics uh, to get better. She will move up as you get her uh, further along in condition and shape. But that's a very nice heifer. You know, the front two thirds of this heifer is, is nice. I like her hair coat. Her body's big. Her size is good. She blends good in her transitional trace from her shoulder to her lower rib. Where I pick on this heifer is there in her hip. She gets a little rounded at her hip, a little, little shallower in terms of her quarter, and just change the way she comes off her hind leg. But after after that, when you look at one in the front two thirds, she's trying one you could argue to be to the top of the class, but I just gotta, gotta can't live with where she's at in terms of her structure moving up here. The red heifer uh, clipped really smooth, but it won't it probably to me just run out of muscle, run out of rear rib, and think to go ahead and move up any higher. Uh, but again, a well presented, smooth made, nice kind of female. Stout, powerful heifer rounds out her class. Her neck comes up really high on the top side of her shoulder, uh, really clean in terms of throat latch. Big bone, just got to kind of clean her joints up a little bit and, and smooth her up a little bit from that standpoint for her to move up any higher. But still, a heifer that has some nice teeth to her in a good class here in your position. Congratulations to your class two winner in your Shorthorn Plus breeding heifers, Grace Harrington from Wada FFA, followed by Kitten Jan from Wilson, third, Taryn Williams from Bray Doyle FFA, fourth, Kaysen Cruther from Grandfield FFA, fifth, James Edlin from Rock Creek, and sixth, Connor Miller from Thomas Bay Custer. Now have class three of your Shorthorn Plus breeding heifers.
class of uh, short order buses, and you've got a size difference, but uh, you know, I talked about that earlier on, times I just leave size alone and sort of in terms of quality and kind. She's, her, her build is just what suits me quite a little bit better. I think she just, uh, uh, she's so much more correct in her top line. She's more uniform in terms of her underlying. I like her bone and cleanliness to the hock she has. She just did a good effort. We go ahead and probably for her age, even within this breed, probably a little more moderate. Maybe I'd like to see, but but folks, I can go ahead and breed that one to make her bigger. Uh, There's no problem there. The uh, one here in second, she has got the advantage of size, and I think when the young man gets her set up, she's a big top. She's a bold red one, got more to her than our class winner. But when we put her in motion, she gets a little lighter to the top, a little rounded in terms of uh, her structure. We're just going to change her from a standpoint. But I do like her, her just extra power with the top dimension. I like the neck of this heifer coming out here next. She she's, comes up high to the top side of her shoulder. She's very attractive from that standpoint. She's got a little navel that distracts from her. I'd like to probably strengthen her down her top. But she's getting her angles. Good looking, nice kind of female to fit here. A third in a, in a show of this level. That's something to sure be proud of as you go out here. Black heifer presented well. Beautiful in terms of her top line. Gets a little bit upright in her pins, which causes her to get too too straight in terms of a rear hawk, a little more refined in terms of foot size, but she's a smooth made, uh, nice kind of a female. The roan heifer coming out, she's a stout legged, uh, up, high, up out of her shoulder like we like to see. Just got to soften her belly and soften her structure for her to move up any higher. But again, nice class here in your short order and pluses. Cole Kimball from Alfalfa County 4-H, followed by Caden Bays from Roth FFA, third, Ashlyn Bogus from Guthrie, fourth, Emily Lucas from Fairview, and fifth, Courtney Campbell. We'll now show for Division One Champion and Reserve Champion. As we get out here in the pluses here in your first division, I'll just start right back here. We just talked about this with beautiful pattern heifer. Love the way she's put together. She does everything. I'd sure like her to from a presentation standpoint. She's she's big legged, square hipped. Just need more of her. I got to decide where to put her in terms of size wise. No doubt about it. I know where she fits from a quality standpoint. The blue roan heifer here in the middle, she's one that's really bold sprung and real dimensional. Still got some stylus. You know, we kind of defaulted into her just a little bit within that class. Compared to the two heifers either side, we'd probably square her up a little bit in terms of hooks to pins and tail head. Uh, nice kind of female. Young man down here. Uh, you know, really got a nice big stout heifer. She's pretty growthy for her age is uh, the only thing maybe we discount her, but she's just beautiful in terms of her pattern and body. Uh, she just reads to be the high quality heifer in this drive. So if anybody here wants to root for him to be champion, we're going to go give him a hand. Congratulations, nice heifer. Congratulations to Division One champion, your Shorthorn Plus, Caden Worthington out of class number one. And your reserve will come out of class three, Cole Campbell from Alfalfa County. Congratulations.
this past year, bust a vision we didn't matter. Really well presented and quality he had to go ahead and went past with, uh, you know, she talked to me a little more correct age and size, uh, how I can put that, but she's just, just deadly in terms of the way she transitions. So that's the power of in terms of movements and comes up out of her shoulder. I like that about her. Next place to start. Not the biggest bodied woman in the class puts things together well. This is the body of one here. The runner right here in the second. She's got a lot of weight for day of age and growth. Uh, yeah, 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 she's still really, really, really good the way she's just getting out. Now, if you want to run a little bit, she's going to close up. Need a little more moment to stand right, 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 right in the middle of the night. But I love her path, up here, broodiness. I like a lot of things that she does represent. Uh, like this, and I'm not really in the press. She's just going to go for the third of the day. She's good in terms of the third she has. I like some oldness to the heart of her hip. Give her a little bit of muscle to her lower quarter. Now, allow her to bounce from the Side is similar to the two cattle running after her. This is her here. It gives me just a little bit of uh, trouble as I go ahead and break her apart. She's heavy muscle. She's sound making. She does transition well enough where I get totally comfortable with her. her, 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 her and before I kind of have her ribbon into her hip, yeah, she kind of gets a little bit of uh, a bulge, I would say, and turn her muscle just to smooth her. And then, uh, and then just, it, 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 I worry about her a little bit. But back and on and over, she's still a good body. It's her bill, heavy muscle one. Uh, you need to try where she goes. But nice to have her. Did a nice job with her. The black heifer is, is so good looking and smooth. The neck kind of up at the top of her shoulder gives us a great present. She's got himself. Maybe just a little, little more. We can give her that more rib. We can give her that front. We're going to have her to round and not flat. She's a little body. She's still good in her forehead, good in her neck. At
you know, just plug in here and your pluses to go through and in his sword. I think there's some differences. You just stay back on and I'm not probably arguing in the crowd if you if you like some things about the one and second or the one and first, I could see that. But uh, right up on top of you get some of those uh, those hot topics I talk about. She's just the broody cowy kind. She's maybe not as extreme in terms of you know, the presence she had in terms of her head and neck, but it still fits together with her body, but she's good in terms of her center shape. I like her size. She's better in terms of her hip and her tail head, and most importantly, she goes ahead and win the class. It's her rear hawk and the ability for her to have some extra set and reach when we ask her to go and move. The one in a second, I think she gives a stunning look at times when you look at her. You know, she, her neck comes up so high out of the top side of her shoulders. She gets her ears wrapped around, uh, and I just, I just love that about her. She's got some power, but for me, as I get right up on there, we just got to clean her joints up. She's just a little bigger jointed, gets a little up in terms of her toe head, but I like the front two-thirds really well. That's a very nice heifer again that will probably still be uh, in contention for us because I thought that hair was, was very nice. The roan heifer comes up here, here third. She smooth made, she blends. She transitions, all those things. You probably, uh, you know, correct her a little bit more in her top line and give her a little bit more weight per day of age or power, or power for her to go compete many higher. But again, very nice job. Yeah. Over here in the battle side, congratulations to kind of catch up to speed on class six results. Your class winner was Kathy Kelly from Keys FFA by Kinsey Atkinson from Sulphur. Third place, Taryn Williams from Bray Doyle. Fourth, Caden Russell from Colgate FFA. Fifth place, Case Glazier from Omega. Sixth, Dirksen Thompson from Mutual. And your class seven results. Congratulations to your class winner, B. Hudson Lane from J4H, followed by Jessica Hobaugh from Blackwell, and third, Cannon Stoner from Blue Jacket. I'd like to, like to uh, shout out to a happy birthday to Rick Fuelfield over here in the pink shirt down here. He's reluctant to raise his hand, but we're at uh, one of the outstanding Oklahoma State 4-H Livestock Judging Coaches. 4-H Livestock Judging Coach. Happy birthday. Out there, it's a good shout out when you got somebody who can, uh, you know, teach teach uh, livestock judging. How important, important in this state, it's kind of important uh, to be part of that at a level. The best uh, senior college judging team in the history of livestock judging here at Oklahoma State University. So it's just good to see. We got to have that feeder program that we sure need. I did it here in this division, a young lady here uh, that first class, just a, just a smoke is good to have her. She's well presented. You talk about one and that's some shape. She's still smooth. She's not in well when I, when I can dig pretty well. Young man, your heifer came out of that class, and I like her depth of body. And I liked her dimension. You know, as we get there, she's just a little bit. You know, we'd clean her neck up and just square her hip up, but I still like her how in she does have. But there's no doubt in terms of which one would win this division. You know, this is first very nice. Congratulations. Congratulations to your division student champion, Cassie Kelly, coming out of class six. And the reserve, coming class, Kenzie Atkinson from Sulphur, FFA. 
will be your reserve champion. Young lady, she just, uh, she brings it out here. This one here distanced herself uh, pretty handedly, and I think this is a uh, really, really a good heifer. I think she's got some, some unique pieces that she can put together. One, I think she's got some power, but boy, she's got to look. Man, she matches you right there and just gives you that, that come, and, come and get me kind of presence. And like her squareness, her joint work, uh, really a good heifer, very good place to start. The heifer is in second. I think it's one that, uh, uh, you know, really link her body, her extra extension she does have, and I think that's some things she can offer this lineup of cattle to go. I think can do, do some things, just not as amplified as our class winner, but she's still a very female. Young lady coming out here with a red, red baldy calf and extremely feminine and flat about her shoulder. Uh, good kind of feed. Just needs a little, little bit more uh, in terms of feed, a little bit more size. But she's got some basics covered there. Uh, you know, doing a nice. So give them a nice round of applause as they head out here. We're sure honored as exhibitors out here in this drive. Congratulations to your class 10 of your Shorthorn Plus Green Heifers winner, Bentley Baldwin from Taloga for a. Followed by Sterling Gillette from Afton FFA. Third, Trista Dunnigan from Coyle FFA. We're having class 11 of the Shorthorn Plus heifers making their way into the show ring.
sort of this drive and uh, you know kind of class just breaks apart here a little, little bit and I think you just get up on top of them and kind of study you have got the differences and you know you got to have some gives and takes for these top three all have some things that you can tie into but the effort that I start with to me just that combination female that kind of lines up in terms of being a good centered good bodied She's really good up there to the upper part of her hip. She's very attractive in terms of her hind leg. There's times she's almost, almost a little bit below the way her neck comes up out of her shoulder and doesn't maybe give you quite as attractive a look. But I think when you just really study her and just in terms of her rib shape and presentation, I think that's just a good place to go ahead and start. We get into two bigger, stouter ones right here. I can spawn. And I think standing there, I think she she looks good. Her neck comes up way better out of her shoulder than our class winner. But she's got a little bit of chest. She doesn't transition as well from her shoulder or rib as a half right would. I went ahead and started with, uh, but I do like her in terms of her squareness. Just not as complete as the one I chose to start with. The Roan Heifer coming out here in third. She's really big footed. She's loose about her structure. She's one I thought of my mind to have her moved up a couple spots and even to go ahead and win the class. But I want to talk about some of the things there where this young exhibitor probably a little bit disappointed, but I just got to have them ones just tie in behind her shoulders a little bit better. Uh, she runs downhill just a little bit. But again, I like her length of stoutness of her structure, the way she gets out and move. The two red heifers as we round out here with both change her structure a little bit. But I thought this one just gives up some size, but she's still nice about her front end and still still fits together maybe a little bit better. The big stout heifer at the end of the class, just a little too out there in terms of straightness to her front, front shoulder and rear hock for what I'd like to see. But again, nice class compliment those exhibitors. To our class 11 winner, Russell Stolz, I took by Sophia York from Raiden 4-H. Third, Maylee Kidwell from Owasso FFA. Fourth, McKenna Reese England from Haworth FFA. And fifth, Fletcher Reese from Warner FFA. We'll now have her class 10 and class 11 come. Show for Division Three champion and reserve champion. Very impressive uh, cattle. Uh, I think they just uh, got a lot of good. And I, and I think you go. And the, and the one I started that last class, and you know, your shoulder, she's just impeccable. And the way she's put together, I love that one. The way she's laid in her, her tail head, still good, dead level from hooks to pins without being terpined or pinned. Good in terms of her angles. If you just begin to come just a little more naturally higher out the top side of her shoulder, the way where her neck comes, is absolutely incredible. And I, hats off to the folks that got her dressed. Uh, they did an extremely good job of getting her, her dialed in, and I can appreciate that. The young lady leaves us with the heifer out of that first class, and, you know, one, I thought she just dominated that class. She's a little more moderate than the heifer that was the class right there behind her. But she has got just an impeccable good look to her. It fits together, matches her her maturity where she's at. And maybe drop her tail head down a little bit, but she's still the good look and the inversion and that is the one that I want to win out or pick out of this year division. Congratulations, young lady. Congrats to Bentley Baldwin. She'll be your division three champion. And Bristol Souls will come up and be your reserve division three champion.
putting a pair of heifers here after we get out of that good division. You know, really nice heifer to step right in here and kind of we're talking about. You know, she's got some stoutness in terms of foot and bone and got some power. Would you look at her in terms of width from hooks to pins? You get in there behind her. Neck comes up good. It gives you a nice presence. We could maybe just transition her just a little bit better, but uh, well, I tell you, that's a very nice heifer and a good class winner here to come out here. So congratulations to you there. Heifer here in second. I like her boldness. She's got some outer rib shape. She's got some thickness and dimension. She's got some durability to her, which is important in, in this breed. Uh, to make sure that it be low maintenance, kind of a female. And I would probably clean her chest floor up and, and maybe just lengthen her hip a little bit. But I like her, her power. You did a good job with it. Congratulations to you. Yep, nice job. Congratulations to Jake Inman from Winoka. He'll be your class 14 winner, followed by David Workman from Stonewall 4 H. We'll move right along to class 15, Ford Horn Plus, breeding and heifers, class 15.
out here to win in this class uh, that goes ahead and distances herself or maybe actually say uh, maybe she had played nights with others because she kind of out here fighting amongst herself a little bit. But uh, she's got a great look to her. She gets her set up like she does right there. Uh, she just kind of kind of gives you that, that just fresh, uh, fresh air or you just come in there and you just say, wow, she get excited. She's deep, she's good looking, stout, and I could go on and on. I'll just have to move around. This red heifer here, I like her shape. I like her top. She's got some turn to the upper part of her rib cage. It carries down into that lower third. Smooth about her shoulder. There's times she gets up here, she wants to get a little lazy in terms of getting around of her hip. But her, but her hawk is good, her structure is good. Uh, young man did a nice job. I think she kind of fits right there in that spot. Here's one I kind of took a look at because a little too much. Uh, she's probably too moderate in terms of her size to be to be kind of maybe where she is. But she's the next best in terms of angle and balance and proportion to to go ahead and fit in there. And I just as I talked about here today, I know I like power, but I also like quality and a certain kind. And let's hear it. So I felt that she was probably where we could go ahead and let her, let her sit there. The one right behind her, a big, uh, big framed heifer, so she kind of pronounces the difference of size. But, uh, you know, she's good in her midsection, but, you know, just to back down rear hawk and tail head, she gets too upright, and her pin placement versus relative to her, to her hooks causes her to shoot her move quite nice enough. The other one gives me a nice presence to her in terms of look and 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 length of body and extension. Just a little depth body. The next three coming down here, all three of them have some structure uh, integrity. We're going to put in the question. We'd like to give them a little more body, a little more balance. But again, nice uh, nice class here in your short horn show. Uh, class 15 results. Congratulations to your class winner, Delaney Moore from Canute FA, followed by John Barker from Luther, third place, Tegan Hunter from Fox FFA, fourth, Addison Bahama Union, 4-H, fifth, Ali Phillips from Mulhall, Orlando, sixth place, Carter Jones from Medford, 4-H, Second place, Abby Scott from Strother, FFA. And eight, Fletcher Reese from Warner. We're now show for Division IV champion. champion. You know, again, we get out here in this division. And we got a nice, got a nice pair, but we're going to have us a really good one out of this division as we work show. But this one of Windsor class, she does do really hand in the she's, she's a big haired, big legged one, got some power. Talked to about maybe she smoothed her up a little bit, but boy, she gives us a really good effort. We'll have her look there for the side that I like to get in that pretty well. The blue roan, and I talked about her. And I say that the more you look at her, you get her set up here. The young lady did a nice job of showing her when you get her set up. Boy, she really gives you a tremendous look. She's tucked in a murder chest for the in terms of her midsection and some bone. But I'll quit talking about her. Congratulations to the Lane Moore from the Canoe FA. She's a high division for champion. We'll now show for reserve.
your reserve plus in class, Sean Barker from Luther FFA. Stay in the cow herd. The one is more good, more moderate. She's probably going to be a little more lower input, but she's just a little longer toed. And I just not as concerned. I'm a little concerned about her her toe length and shape and design. She's good in her fore rib, clean up her neck. Needs a little more hip and quarter to balance up, but still a very nice set for here in this class of pluses. Congratulations to Celie Bellows from the Toga County 4-H. Will be your class 19 winner, followed by J.C. McGowan from Maysville, and third Hayden Johnson from Newkirk. Go setter, go getters. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, put your
and take a look. There was no doubt in my mind we come out here and uh, made that half circle of which heifer is going to win the class for me. I think this one, you know, she's got a really, really good show heifer look to her. She's got presence about her. Neck comes up out of her shoulder, but yet she just balances up so well. Good in terms of her angles, and she is the best when you put them in motion. So all those things together, you know, added in there pretty well. Now she could probably be a little thicker leg, uh, especially down low, and, and maybe a little more power. But, boy, the maternal rib, flat-shouldered, super sound, that package go ahead and start the class with. You know, I felt this heifer probably next fit in line to, to be second. She's a thick top, wide hipped one. She's good boned. Her presentation is extremely good. I would probably change her the way she comes out of her hip and her hind legs. Uh, she gets a little bit wide for me, but but I sure like her extra dimension and body to go ahead and fit right there in that second spot. The one and third that come in there, she, she's a very intriguing heifer. I think she gives you a really, really nice, uh, nice look and nice pieces and maybe just a little bit harder. You know, part of it, I don't know if they didn't a chance to get her underline fit or even it just gets a little bit uneven in her underline maybe gives me just a look of a little bit more condi condition so you know if we change that a little bit I think she could probably move up a spot uh, but with that and then just a little shorter out there her hip we just have hers but a very nice effort good competitive class hang on one second stop hang on yep with a comb in your tail uh, the next after cover, she's one standing there. She's big featured. She's long fronted. She's good made. I like this. I like a lot of things about her. I think she's got some unique breeding pieces to her as you go. But when you bring her to me as a show heifer, she becomes a little coined, a little coarser in her tail head. She doesn't transition as well as well when you put her in motion. I'd just like to see her little and off of both ends. But a heifer that's still high quality, well presented, does a nice job. A heifer, she's long fronted, long bodied, uh, the female. Male, just a little sharper hog, not quite the balance again, but a very nice class here. Compliments to those plus exhibitors. Congratulations to your class 20 winner, Devin Frazier from Meeker FFA, followed by Jace Parker, Lone Grove for speech. Third, Sheridan Soul, Skyatuck. Fourth, Miranda Allen from Cheyenne. Fifth, Cody Greider from Wilson. FFA will now have Division Five champion reserve champion. Very, uh, very interesting uh, trio. Some big pieces.
once we get out here in this uh, plus division, and I think we get got, uh, you know, four very nice heifers, there's a lot of quality, a lot of good, good there. And, you know, I think there's just a tremendous amount of practicality in this white one here class. And I think she's a logical choice. She may be moderate size, but she's a big enough cow for me there at the end of the day. Uh, she, uh, she's got a really nice fur. Go ahead. You've got her right there, young man. Just put her head up. She's good. Give her a scratch. That looks good to me. Uh, she's so well, well balanced, so proportional, very, very, very nice heifer. We've got a heifer of the big class, uh, the second class, a bigger heifer, I should say. You know, just the T presented really well. I've got, got a great better look to her. I like her flexibility. I like the mobility she has. She's a lady, and she looks like she's my division champion, so congratulations. Congratulations to Devin Frazier. She'll be your Division 5 champion. And Celia Bellows will be your reserve at the Division. Congratulations. Class 23, Class 23 of Shorthorn Plus breeding heifers making their way into the show ring. The results of our Class 4 commercial breeding use.
heifers, two very nice heifers that got a lot of good to them that we can talk about and like and appreciate a lot of things about them. It is a big stout one here to go ahead and win, and not not that that's the reason she wins, but you know she's got a lot of them attributes we've been talking about. She's got some width and power. I like the length and squareness to her hip. I think that's a distinct advantage she has over the red heifer behind her. But this thing is long fronted, transitions well gets out and moves and maintains her balance to a high degree. Very, very, very nice heifer. I like the boldness and extra expression and spring of rib uh, that the second, second has. She's got uh, a lot of that mid to talk about. She's not as long and extended in her front end as the one that wins a class, and I'd really change her in terms of the power up from her hooks to her pins up high compared to my class winner, but saying that, that's still a very high quality heifer that's well presented. You did a nice job with her and fun to look at a heifer that kind of good. Then we kind of drop off a little bit or have a little bit of gap and we jump in here to the blue roan heifer. She's awesome in terms of the rear rib and the flank and I think that's where she goes ahead and moves up a little bit. She needs to be dropped down her tail head and kind of change her hawk, but practicality wise covers some things really well. Then I think we get a long-bodied, big-bodied one. She's got her condition up there. Her tail head kind of takes away from her from attractiveness. I see balanced up well uh, for her size, and she's good in terms of her center body. <laughs> then the next two heifers, you know, you like them in terms of their shine, but both of them, I got to change their structure. They get just a little too rigid in terms of their hocks, just not comfortable with them for the long-term haul put together from a structure standpoint. But body composition one are probably a little bit higher, but again, a very good class. My compliments to both of you. In our first division, Over here on the cattle side, your class 23 results. Congratulations to Aspen Souls from Sky Took, your, your class winner, followed by Sucker from Lone Grove. Third, Rayleigh Atkins Vern 4 H. Fourth, Eli Whitney from Clinton FFA. Fifth, Cody Cantrell from Stigler. Sixth place, Harley Holman from Garber FFA. We now have class 24 in the show ring of Shorthorn Plus breeding heifers. As we get out here in this big class, our older heifers of these pluses, these are some big stout heifers that, uh, you know, just got a lot of product to them and still put them together in a good pack. This young man this is a very nice class winner. Uh, he, he's working hard, and uh, I sure appreciate his passion as he comes out here. She is bold. She's robust. She's got some thickness up. She's got some thickness up high. You know, she's got some honor from a condition, but I think I like the where she's at in terms of the one that she's ready to be. Uh, take her halter off, kick, kick her out. She's going to get a nice cow on the back, check out on the grass. I just think she has that, that extra look in the mental heifer. Nice job, congratulations. The red heifer, you know, you back off of her, and I sure like her as well. 
you know, she's got some length to her front end. She's big and square, you know, from a muscularity standpoint as you get right in there behind. You know, you just didn't know if she just as smooth and her underline is what we go ahead and start it with and just a little sharp in terms of rear hawk. But again, nice effort to be second. So effort in third is still a very muscular, stout, burly heifer uh, that's got a lot of those attributes that we want to talk about. Maybe you just got a smoother a little bit, but heck, that's a still a very, very nice race heifer. It just says a whole lot for the quality that we've got here at your show today. Congratulations to the Libertadors. Congratulations to Caden Gray, Roth FFA, East Year Class winner, followed by Lexi Howard from Hera, or Carter Oyster from Empire. We now have class 25, a single entry. No, we, I'm sorry, we have division. Division six, excuse me, division six champion, reserve champion. Get out here in this division, your plus show. And boy, we bring a nice pair of cows. Both of these two, uh, you know, have a really good cow, cow look to them and have some broodiness. And I had to have some things that could take a program forward, forward, go ahead and mate them and go on. And you know, we just talked about this one the last class young man has. You know, she's so big in terms of her body. She, in terms of, of just just rib relative to the rest of her body. She's a little bit more conservative in terms of a, a little shorter hipped. Uh, but boy, I still like that kind and, and, and tear into her as well as a good heifer. Heifer out of that first class, big stout heifer. She's power and muscle like we're talking about. She's really good in her line. She's fit really well. She gets a few more bells and whistles and a positive to look and talk about. So as we take those totals together and talk about two quality heifer, high quality heifers, one's got access to her. That means, young lady, you're going to be champion of this division. Congratulations. Congratulations to Aspen Soul, your Division Six winner. And Caden Graves will be your reserve out of Division Six. Congratulations to both of them. We now have one final class and one final division. It's a single entry. Class 25.
your division champion, also class 25, Cannon Stoner. We'll now bring all of our division winners in to show for overall grand champion Shorthorn Plus Breeding Heifers. We'll have seven winners. Again, let's put our hands together.
from 1 to 10. I'll tell you, as we get right down here, uh, this has just been an impressive day to, to work our way through here. And I'm just absolutely blown away by, you know, by the quality and, uh, and, and the pride that these four exhibitors, both the purebreds and the, and the plus brought to us. So just, just a lot of effort, a lot of determination, just a lot of grit these kids have brought out here. And the top end of these things is, is real good. And I can just... Uh, you know, as we go down through, because I think there's some sincere players out here as we work work our way down from the July heifer down there to the April, you know, and all the way down here. You know, you've got to ask yourself, as your show judge, depending on where you're at, we've got some really good younger cattle in these first three spots. you got to say, if are they, you know, are they mature enough to be able to compete with some of the bigger heifers? Because I truly believe that it's easier for younger cattle that haven't went through some of them growth and develop to actually look a little bit better than does one for a big one. You get down to these big ones, it takes a lot to have this much power, size, and still keep them fresh. So I tend to always give a little bit more 
advantage kind of them bigger cattle and we've been talking about cattle with power and dimension in this lineup though I'll go through and we'll get you a champion but I think there's one that uh, clearly is the one that 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 gets me excited put some things together I think a heck of a heifer so folks give him a nice round of applause I'll walk out here and get her Congratulations to your overall grand Shorthorn Plus heifer, exhibited by Delaney Moore from the Canute FFA. And Aspen Souls will be your reserve. Now we'll show for bronze. And your bronze will be Bentley Baldwin from the Taloga 4-H. Over on the commercial breeding news side, first thing. show for your champion, reserve champion, and bronze, bred and owned, Shorthorn Plus Heifers. Your bread uh, you know, got a good lineup, a little interesting in terms of some of the divisions in the bread known. We had a little more uh, 
kind of straightforward in terms of where we're looking at, but uh, this is still an impressive lineup. It's an impressive division. Uh, be proud of yourselves, and, and as cattle persons and producers, uh, give these guys a nice round of applause. We'll get you a, uh, three out here in this division. Congratulations to Caden Worthington. He'll be your champion, bred and owned. Your result will be Carter Oyster. Congratulations to Carter. And your bronze for the bread and own will go to Cannon Stoner. Congratulations. Once again, give our judge, Chad Holcamp, a big round of applause for sorting several head of cattle since early this morning. Thank you, judge, for being here.